I want you to know. <laughs> what? That for about half of that story, you were in like a little s- sailboat somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know this isn't real. What's up, guys? This is the Dope As Usual Podcast. I am Dope As Yola. Thomas, whatever you want to call me. This is my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? We're back. We're getting straight into it. So we're already under the influence here. This is Josh and Jake Wolf coming back for another episode. Yeah, I would, I would call this a mushroom episode under the influence. Let's go. Yeah, I would yeah. call that. So let's start yeah. now. So you're already 30 deep. So. <laughs> <laughs> Josh gave us a whole tutorial when he walked in here. Dude, <laughs> well, he, we got these crazy things from Vancouver. <laughs> A crazy city, so he just brought home. And then I felt like I hadn't taken enough, Marty. So I took one more. Yeah, no, we're Stop, sitting here you talking business. You're popping them like. <laughs> no, you know, like in, in like uh, in World War Two, where they're like, "Yo, hit him with the hit him with the penicillin shot," and they, that's how he did it, and he just went. Ah. Yeah, I oh think taking gosh. pills with water is for pussies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Can I tell you something he told me last I'll year? I'll die. I'll show to that. No, yo, last year he was just, we were in a hotel room. We were on tour and he just sat there and started taking pills with no water voluntarily. And he looks at me and he goes, I think I'm just going to start taking pills with no liquid for the rest of my life. And I was like, are you a fucking serial killer? Like, what is that kind of shit? Like, that is, I don't know. Like, he likes the taste of raw mushrooms and takes pills without too. water. Like, that is some serial also, killer Also, for shit. someone that loves mushrooms, yeah. you didn't know which one was which was scary to me today. You went, this bag, these ones will melt your face off. These ones are fun. Which ones are which? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he had to, don't, he had to ask know. me, because I remember when we poured the bowl of this same you're bag. Right. I'm definitely right. I just right. took it. Hey, we're going to find out in a couple. We will find yeah, out. Yeah, it's going to uh-huh. look, they're going to be fun either way. Like, uh, but uh, the, the beautiful thing is these mushrooms we bought in a store. I know. In Vancouver, the cool. store was called Zoomers. <laughs> and when I tell you, <laughs> I, they, I, I had never seen this many mushrooms and all the different strains. I didn't know how many different strains there were. I thought there was one strain of penis envy. There was four. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Regular yeah, yeah. Penis envy, I did I not know that. Albino penis so, envy and two others. There was so, know. and then so... I had never seen Enigma mushrooms in a store before. There was Enigma Oops. mushrooms. I've never uh, seen those either. Those yeah, are the face melters, right? What's that? Those are the face melters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. But once you just ate seven of them? No, you guys don't understand. No, you guys don't get it. It's like a challenge. It's like you tell somebody, you can't do that. Oh, you, you think I can't eat all these mushrooms right now? That's him. <laughs> But nobody asked or challenged him. Or challenged him. He just did. No. He just did. Yeah, yeah. Just did. That's, that's, kinda, that's, that's kind of that's kind of Josh's vibe. I was like, oh yeah, oh, you oh know yeah. Me well? you, oh, open, yeah? you open the door for me. You think you're, t- are you're tired of me? You said hi. Yeah. But in all actuality, this is just his routine. Like, yeah. imagine imagine casually just doing that, and then I'm going. I love a thousand it. people. No, I love Dude, that. It's cool. it's so like for me, it's you're crazy. Kind of free. Like he, well, he does yeah, that exactly. Yeah, I can't. I can't do too many responsibilities. I can't. No, I can't. I, he always is like, you're going to take some with me? I'm like, yeah, after I sell merch and take photos with all these people, because <laughs> I have to do math on mushrooms. That's just hard sober. Math goddamn. on mushrooms has a good YouTube channel. That it's actually is. is. Great math idea. on mushrooms. And, you, and I've done it. Like watching a new <laughs> podcast. I've some guy just <laughs> over and over <laughs> staring at a board. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for the numbers to stop moving before I solve that oh. problem. Yeah. See, that, <laughs> yeah. All right, you might really flourish in that. We talked a lot, of, a lot of about mushrooms. Have you ever taken mushrooms? You went, I shouldn't have done it. This is dangerous. Dangerous? No. No? Okay. I've been in one position where you put yourself in a position like, this is dangerous. I shouldn't be here. During the show when Josh was here in the cowboy jacket? No, no. That was, <laughs> that was scary. That night was insane. Oh, I told you. But that yeah. night turned nuts. I mean, like, uh, I was on mushrooms. I was babysitting my little brother. Rocco, when he was three, mm. my brother's nineteen now. Rocco, Rocco. you've met me, my brother. So, yeah. I remember my mom's. I'm getting off work in forty minutes. I'm like, cool. Twenty minutes later, I'm meeting these shrooms. Eighth, I'm like, let's go. And then as I'm leaving, I'm like, I'm driving. What am I thinking? So I'm going across town. I'm driving. I just see like little tracers. I'm like, all right, it's cool. And I just got a tint, like like all everything kind of went like a light green. 
as mm-hmm. if like as if you put those little filters in front of the old camera red yeah. yellow mm-hmm. thank you just like your lenses mm-hmm. so i'm driving going i don't know what this the lights are <sighs> and i pulled over and i just well, i'm gonna follow a car Ooh. and i followed a car through the ghetto until i into, all the way to my house in sixth street i went I don't know if I'm running reds. I don't know what the color is. I'm just going to drive. Also, I have weed in the car. I have a scale. Like, It's dangerous. And that was the only time I was ever like, no, probably not good. I will tell you. I got long ass arms. It worked out anyways. I, I, I uh, These mushrooms. Um, and I like I take two between two and a half and three grams on my for my late show Friday night shows. Every time? Every time. Oh. Thank you, baby. Thank you. thank you, thank you. And some of them have been like ri- ridiculously good, and some of them not. Well, I would, yeah. you know, I would, I would disagree with that. <laughs> I would, I would disagree with that. I think they've all been good, but some of them have been like so good. Does the audience go? Are you on drugs here? I well, tell them. Well, yeah, I, yeah. They, they, right. I tell them mm. because I intro him. So I also, also love the dynamic of these live shows. Oh, we appreciate it, man. It's, so, it's, it's very cool. so much fun. Since, since the last time I've been here, I've actually started doing my own. Like I open for him now. I'm doing my own no, stand up. I, I know you, you start like we we're saying. We're going to start the show and then you introduce him. But the back and forth is my favorite part. Yeah. No, sorry, right. sorry. 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 Yeah. Continue. That's, that's my favorite as well. It's my favorite too. Yeah. I mean, but like, like I said, from, from an outside perspective, watching you do mushrooms every Friday night and go on stage like. It still amazes me because, yeah, you do kind of go off topic, but you always bring it back into something else. But, like, you, everybody knows what's going on at the show. But my thing is to why I know they're good and not just all right. Like, they're good. No one ever gets up and leaves your shows. Mm, that's La- true. Late shows, those mushroom shows, I've seen you go by yourself two hours on stage yeah. <gasps> to a point where the, they, they turned off the AC, gave checks, and gave you a light. And you still went two hours. <laughs> by, yeah, by they turned off the air conditioning. That was their yeah, last thing to, to, to heat me up. And I was like, it's hot up here, but I'm going to keep talking. You know my yeah. mushrooms, right? I'm yeah. sweating in the, in the Arctic, bro. Yeah. So, so he, That's right. So, and for th- and for the show was an almost three hour show, not including the hour and a half meet and greet after. Not a single person left that 400 person club. Mm, I'll tell you, man. Ever. No one ever leaves, dude. Unless they like have to. Unless it's like a babysitter or someone has to. But still, even then, I do I've never seen anybody leave one of those shows. I'm having more fun doing stand up right now than I ever have in my entire life. Mm. I, Epic. I, it seems like it. I, I really am. Mm. I mean, so much of it is having Jacob with me, but You're also, welcome. yeah, dude, also, yeah, the two, having us on stage together adds something different. It's just such a great energy at these shows now. And I have never felt looser or more free. I've never come up with more material. Mm-hmm. Yo, if you look at my YouTube page, and some people have been like, how come? and I just filmed a special last week, but some people are like, hey, how come you haven't put out a special in a few years? I'm like, check the YouTube page, dude. I've put out over two and a half hours of material since then. Put out more more material than probably We're actually just talking about it. I follow for sure. Yeah. I, I, because I'm not precious with my stories. No. I think... And I don't think, I know I'm going to write another one. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> uh, let me just show you what I do at my shows. And so mm-hmm. there, there are some stories, <clears throat> like there's a story I tell about this dude in Florida, at one of my shows who pulled a knife. On you? At, he, tra- he pulled a knife and then he said he was going to kick my ass. And um, What a hating ass fool. And so. <laughs> Facts. Yo, so, but it, it's, a, it's a, such a great story, oh, right? hate on Josh is nuts. This dude, it's, well, what happened was, yeah, he, there was a girl, a woman sitting in front of him, and she was tearing into this dude. When being mean to him? When, when, so when people would laugh, she would turn and say something to him, but you could see by her face that it wasn't nice. The dude flipped out. I went over to them and I go, hey, I'm so sorry. Looks like you guys are having a hard time tonight, but I'm going to have to ask you guys to leave. And she looked at him and she goes, did you hear what he said? He told you to shut the fuck up. Mm. Just like that. And I was like, no, I did not say that. <laughs> not, 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 none of those words I actually came out of my mouth. I did not say any of those particular words. Him? They were uh, together. Yeah, I think they were. So I thought she was bullying a man no, in your show. No, they they imagine. They, victim, they, get out They here. were together. Okay. So he stands up. He's got a sling. And he, and arm. sling. That was arm. And the hard. bouncer comes and stands in front of me. And the guy in the bouncer goes, you should sit down, dude. Your arm. He goes, I'm going to fuck him up. 
right? And the bouncer goes, if you're going to get to him, you're going to have to go through me. What a G. Yeah, dude, I was like, boing. Kind of muscle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never had anyone fight for my honor before. Are you kidding me? I'm, like, I'm going to make this man dinner. Dude, later. First, I had dinner. I promised him a hand job on the spot. I'm like, dude, you're getting a hand job tonight. That was amazing. I know why that's so sexy now. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Fuck him up for me. Somebody fuck this guy for me. Let's go. Do you know, it was fucking great. But then the guy pulled the knife out of the... Did they pat him down? Stop. He Dude. had a knife in the sling. He had a knife in the sling. Oh, oh, which was the most Florida thing. What a bad. Yeah. But he was also you know like 65. No, no, no. Wasn't he older? I mean, not 60. He was probably my age. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, was it too far off? Um, uh, but, but, uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, but like. Yeah, but but he anyway. looked like a GTA character. And all that, that happened to me in Naples, right? That's a and good psycho move to stash them. Up, dude, no, crazy. what a badass, bro! Not the first time he had done that, dude. I don't think his arm was actually hurt. I think he just I was away to carry his arm weapon. was definitely hurt because when they dragged him out, you could see the fucking surgery scar, <gasps> fresh. It, oh. So you would have beat his ass. I wasn't getting into I it. No, but if it yeah. really got down to like, oh, I'd punch him in the shoulder. In the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is the, was was the most Florida thing about the entire story, and it's all pretty Florida. There was an old guy standing next to me, right? And we were outside of the club because I was watching it because, I, you know, you, why you wouldn't? To. What am I gonna do? Not Just watch stay it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So his arms are above his head, <laughs> and this old dude standing next With to me goes. Shoulders. Oh, dude, gnarly oh. scar. There's a, and the old dude standing next to me goes, I think he's going to need another shoulder surgery. Oh. And I was like, Oh, do you think? He goes, No, I'm his doctor. He, I did that surgery. Oh, he's definitely going to need another surgery. Oh. I was like, this, I'm definitely in Florida right now. That's the most Florida fucking thing. Actually, I'm the doctor. Yeah, yeah I'm actually the surgeon. And then an alligator came out and smoked meth. Dude. Pretty much. We in do Florida. see alligators on golf courses there. I would box it. I would wait till it stands and fight it. Dude, a kangaroo. No, nah, I'm good. You're not, there you go. Oh, I've seen the videos. Are you fighting a, a kangaroo I was, before you fight an alligator? I was kidding. I, oh. I would, I, I will, I'll get a kangaroo hooked on drugs before I fight an alligator. I'll be friends with him. But yo, here, snort this. By the time we know it, he's selling himself on. And then I'm Florida. Dude, that's what I'm getting at. He carries his your drugs in his, his pouch. pouch. Right. Stop. The it. kangaroo's fixing electric. Wait, no, no, wait. I got a better one. I gotta, I gotta, stop he it. Keeps, he keeps the drugs in the pouch, but he's also got a little runner, a little Joey in the Inside. pouch. And the Joey is the runner. Wow. Could, no one's ever going to. Can I search your kangaroo's pouch? Ever. No. I know you're going to be like, that's the guy that has kangaroo. He always, it looks like he sells drugs hand to hand. Like, oh, does he? Yeah, he's the only guy with the kangaroo. But are you getting in trouble? But here's the deal if you train a kangaroo to deliver your drugs, just bounces. Do you get in trouble if you're like that's? Not, I don't know why that kangaroo. He has a problem. Yeah, I, that's not my. You just gotta make sure he's not chipped and just like like. Uh, but, but they can't trace the kangaroo back. But to even you. if the kangaroo comes back to my house, I didn't put drugs in there. Yeah, I don't fucking. Can you get close to him? He'll claw you. Yeah, I can't do, get over there. How come you can't just train your kangaroo to deliver your drugs? They do it with pigeons. Australia. You might just crack the code. Here. Uh, I no, yeah. no, this is real. Because <laughs> it's a loophole. You can't arrest me. You can't arrest a kangaroo. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Put deport him? him? Zoo? You're going to yeah, deport yeah, yeah. him? You'll probably... I, 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 I'll just get me another kangaroo. What if uh, What if we find a dude who, who identifies as a kangaroo? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we can talk to him and tell him, uh, actually go to two stops today. Because uh, the kangaroo, I think, is one, uh, one stop McGee. How did we get here? Sorry. Oh, we saw an alligator in the golf course. Yeah. See, this is what happened. Dude with the knife and the sling. Florida. 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 Florida is how we got here. Did the bouncer have to approach him or did he come towards the stage? And I so, know he had the knife. So this was my favorite part. So the guy, he's standing like this. So sling left hand. And he takes out Watch the, camera. the knife and he gives it. Like a steak knife? No, it's like a knife. It, you know what it is? Because there was a, a video. And they, the, the knife hit the floor. It was a fucking ninja throwing knife. It was a sh it was a shooty kid. Yeah. So he's got it like this, and he comes. Out, <coughs> he comes out. This was the best part. He comes out and gives it one of these, like he's in the Three Musketeers or Zorro. some shit. Yeah, like he thought 
What, uh, I even said it in the joke. Like he thought like that someone was going to take out some trumpets and be like, fa, fa, da, <laughs> yeah. straight up. He brandished it. Yeah, dude, he, he said, Hunga. He basically, yeah. Lasso the road. <laughs> and the... The the bat the um, bouncer did something that was crazy. He, I've never seen the it. karate chop. Mm -hmm. He fucking karate. right here judo chop. Karate. Right there. Yeah, I'd never seen. That's what I would do. I'd punch somebody right in the arm. I'd never <laughs> seen a karate chop before. You know that works like a karate like a legit. Yeah. And yeah, it actually like worked. That worked. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. you think Elvis was just taking, he was his own bouncer. Yeah, he showing up. Yeah. What he's really gonna do to you. But yeah, dude. But usually this is like a movie from situation. a grown man. From that awesome would knock you a Chudo chop. Chudo chop. Chudo Chudo chop. chop. Yeah, the dude yeah. steps Chopped up. He there. delivers a movie line. You gotta step through me, and then he proceeds to chop out. Yeah, ninja it was a double. Sword out of this Here's the best thing about it. Is that all on videotape? Yeah, that was his main character moment, though. Like that was the manager's. Like when <laughs> that he happened, he was like, dash? "This is the moment. This yeah. is the moment every really dude the dreams of bouncer. having." Do you no, know the saying? bouncer, dude. Let me great. tell you something. Big when I say bouncer, man. no, dude, he looked like a tall me. When he ran over, I was like, "What are you doing here, dude? <laughs> Wait, go get a grown up to help <laughs> us out here." Wait, are you sure he wasn't a? <laughs> yeah, dude, it was not. It was the guy. Well, I forget his mass. name, but he was like the he's like the guy who runs the show over there. Not Brian, but the step down. Right, that's what I'm saying. He's not a bouncer. I think he was like the manager. Yeah, maybe. He yeah. karate jumped the guy. <laughs> Fucking dude. I, I asked him about it last time we were there. He was like, dude, I was a state championship or state champion wrestler. And pretty much all the way through high school. Nothing. Yeah. With I, a chop, I, was like, I was like, okay, but <laughs> I'd you chop judo him? chop. Like, what yeah, the yeah, fuck is that? There ain't no wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you took that from Austin Powers. I was man. I, I love that it works, right. but like it's it, the appropriate move to do it. Yeah, moment. but usually it's to the neck, and they're just like, yeah. right? But dude, it, if he had karate the, chopped his neck like Captain Kirk, and had it all over the place, I'd have been like, yes. Hey, fuck Kirk to the neck in the wild. You don't see that shit. Oh, yeah. ever. You don't see any of that shit ever. Mm -hmm. That's so then he tackled him and bros tackled him, him and then they dragged him outside. They hit, <laughs> yep, hands above his head. They hit his head on the door jam twice. Oh, oh yeah. Once. And Watch then they head. must have been like, that was fun. Bink. <laughs> and they bapped him again. Mm. Yep. And because when they, he was not cool. They saw that he had a fucked up shoulder. He was not good. Well, they saw they they saw he had a fucked up shoulder. The nicest thing. And so ever. they were like, "Hey," and he was like, "Man, my shoulder." And they were like, "Are you gonna Are you gonna be cool?" And he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be cool." And then he wasn't cool. Mm. <laughs> the, and the so he, he was, brought a knife. He was trying to kick and stuff. And so they fucking like he, a child. Yeah. So this bro, is incredible, no, dude. The manager ended up on the video. He's sitting on like like he's dude his face down. The guy is sitting on top of him, but like high shoulders up. So he's pretty oh, much just stuck yeah. like this in between my man's thighs. Yep. And I was like, all right, that's kind of like, it, it was I'm not, not going to say that's not hot, but it's not, not hot. <laughs> like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was kind of nuts. It was, it was kind of yeah. nuts. And he was so relaxed while he was doing it. Yeah. He was like, sir, you need to calm down. He was like, you fucking calm down. He was like, sir. Yeah, he that, goes, get off me. He goes, by the way, he kept calling him, sir. He's like, sir, I'm not, I'm not getting off you. We're going to wait till law enforcement arrives and mm -hmm. takes you away. And <laughs> <laughs> Your face, bro. So disappointed. No, it, it was, was amazing. No, yo, it was his, like, for me, that that's, that's like his main character moment. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like for, yeah, the, for the manager, he was like, oh, this is, this is what's happening. That's as good and as it was, gets. Oh, yeah, for, yeah. fuck yeah. You're in full yeah, control, I'm dude. Like, no, nah, you're just going to relive his glory days. Really calm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, he fucked that but, dude's world up. <laughs> yeah. When you go back yeah, to did. stage, do you go back to stage after? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say to the lady? Oh, she got kicked out too? I'm oh, pretty okay, sure she right. also tried she to tried hit. to kick the dude who was on top of her fiance. That was her, and she was me, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, so, and then as she was going to kick him, one of the waitresses came and fucking laid her out. <laughs> just, sat, Yo. just sat on top of her and started punching her in yeah. the fucking oh. face. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, I was like, hey, yo. I was like, we yeah. were, we're ride or die yeah. here in Florida. Yeah, they, they were like, we, she took they were like, that, we don't. She took her yeah. out. <laughs> wow. It was a, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> she came up and she came up and just grabbed her. You. And just. Yeah. Fuck oh, no. Yeah. Fucked her she up. She fucked her up. It was fucking great. These workers have been waiting for this. <laughs> Bro, they go through. Th yo, those. Must have been. Those, those staffs. Those some of the what? best. Like, those staffs go through it's shit. The same, the yeah, it's the same but people from the Blues Brothers. Let me tell you something, dude. They just don't want to get caught. I, I have never seen anything like that at a comedy club before. 
Mm. Yeah. To punch in the face sounds anyways. great. What? A punch to the face when someone deserves it is always the best. Oh, satisfying. It's up. Uh, yeah. It is right. satisfying <laughs> for sure. Right. I, mean, I don't know if you guys ever seen it. Like seven years ago, there's a video of the, like the skinny. I think in Australia, the skinny kid. Someone's filming it. They're like in fifth grade. He mm-hmm. comes up to the big giant fat kid. Have you seen it? Mm-mm. The kid is my size in fourth grade. Big kid. Mm-hmm. And they're they're punking this fat kid and they keep punching him. And he's like, he's like hiding on the wall. And they're like, obviously they do it all the time. And he, all right, we got to bring it up. He picks this kid up, freaks out, picks him up and slams him on this brick thing and breaks the kid's leg. Bam! Snaps no! him. And the kid tries to scoot away and you can see it bend. Like, no! oh, it's broken. You see, like, Have he's the seen that? biggest... Nope, but I want to. Uh, Bad Santa. He's like the fat kid from Bad Santa. No! Big blonde, husky, nice-looking he kid. Com- he WWE'd him right into the fucking... Uh, I'll bring it up bro, for he you. he Batista it's bombed bad. him into a brick wall. It was that for bad, real? Bad. They were... It, they are punching him. Punching him in the face and the kid's just doing this. And then he just ah, and slammed. And he was that him. much stronger than them. He's like the brother from something about Mary. It oh, felt like no. it's like, dang, you're in the fifth grade. Why are you so big? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I don't know why <laughs> oh, I thought about thinking God. about bullies, but um, hey, that happened in Florida. You guys talking about this in Florida? That's some legendary Springer white trash. And all this is recent shit that went down there. Well, this happened. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, this was two years ago. Oh, but no, the point. Was, the point of this yeah. was you were out. I, I remember actually. You, had, I was talking about. Stories that I tell in post mm-hmm. that had happened in Naples. I didn't tell it all year. I just waited till I got back to Naples to tell it to them. I told it maybe once or twice after that, but then I just posted so much the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, just another one of them. It's not one of the <laughs> stories that I'm working on for my next hour. Mm-hmm. And so if I stumble on stories, because I've already kind of decided what I want my next hour to be. So if I stumble you, you on stuff, right? yeah, 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 like last but week, I, right? oh, he just filmed another one. He because he filmed that one because I, I want you to know he already has another hour. Mm. Whoa! And, uh, honestly, he's probably got closer to two. I, I like you have an hour. You have like that you've been doing like more, but you have other things that you could probably fill in for. Like I, I think minutes. I have an hour that feels really good mm-hmm. because six months ago I stopped doing this hour that I just filmed. Mm-hmm. And I just started working on new stuff. So you're gotcha. constant. It is what keeps me interested, mm-hmm. I and think. So you just filmed it in Vancouver. It was great, dude. That legal shroom store, Zoomers, one more shout out. Let's start. Mm-hmm. You t- you guys both post in front of Dankmart. We had the owner, Dankmart yes. Spencer, on the show. And I text him like, you guys are in Vancouver. Holy shit. Get up, Spencer. And then you go, did you know there's legal drugs here? And then I'm like, can we get off fucking Instagram? <laughs> Did I tell you what he said to me? No, no. What he, he said, said on Instagram, he's DMing me. Did you know heroin and coke is legal? I'm like, oh, crazy. And then he goes, dot, dot. And then shrooms. I just bought an ounce. I go, <laughs> Instagram looks like you just said you bought an ounce of heroin and coke. I don't think you realized. And I went, and I erased the whole DM. Yep, me too. And then I went to you and started texting. <laughs> and I go back Sorry. to the DM, and yep. you had DM me after and both, and DMT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, erased yeah, that yeah I erased that too. Yeah, I erased that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you give me intro- I yeah. got deleted three days later. Got it right back though. Could be some holy shit. They're monitoring DMs. By the way, I do want to report that I think the shrooms and the pills are working. Okay, feeling it? Yeah. I think, well, these are- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they're definitely working. If these are uplifting, then yeah. Yeah, I definitely yeah. feel this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good. So, did you try the DMT while you're out there? No, no. because okay. I was doing my show, man. So I didn't, I have never done oh, okay. DMT before. You so gotcha. like, will you do it with me? He just ask me. Ten. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, we just ask me. Uh, that's one. That's one, one for me. I want, that's one I want to. Really? I, it's I naturally to. produced in your brain while when you, you die. die. Yeah. If I'm going out once with DMT, I'm going out once with that's scary. fucking Let me DMT. Ask you something. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm kind of there too. It feels like at 85 years yeah. old. So, are, can are we you, go now? Are you at no, 80, okay. 85 years old? <laughs> you, I mean, you want to do it once when you die? Okay, that's fine. We had this conversation the other day. I told them at 85 years old, get ready. I'm doing heroin. Nope. And that's why I said we're friends, Josh. Yeah. How long have I been saying it, Rosie? Maybe we're together. I was gonna say maybe really. Before. I say, if I hit 88 years old, I'm flying to China, yeah. opium den for weeks. If yeah. I make it out, I make it out. Great. Sounds sick. Great. Have a little Asian guy pouring water Great. on me so I don't dehydrate Great. and die. Great. Like, thank you. Thank you. Oh, man, that's the best sleep I ever heard in my Come life. Oh, 
fun. And, I, it's like I've always said, dude, the first half of a heroin movie looks like fun shit. <laughs> it's the second half. It's a yeah. real bummer, you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. that first half of the movie, uh, people look like they're having a good time. The drug scenes are making for a dream or sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're having a good time. He's practicing on his 85-year-old man. Yeah. Hey. Hey. But I'm saying no. a little heroin. I'm not going to, I don't want to do like crack or anything because I think that'll kill me right away. I don't think so. Have you ever seen crackheads? They're, they live to nine yeah, nine hundred. Right. Huh? <laughs> they can live forever and yeah, carry but, a, an engine. Yeah, but I, <laughs> they are surprisingly <laughs> strong. Yeah, they yeah. are surprisingly strong. But I don't think those are late ninety-year-old crackheads. No, they're those from are nineteen ninety-seven yeah. and just kept it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of. You you're know. right. You're right. Your tolerance isn't up for the crack. I don't think your heart is up for that initial. Also, it'll be thirty years from now. What if you have a pill like, hey, this will detect a heart attack within five years? Like, mm -hmm. perfect. Thanks. Smoking crack. What if 30, <laughs> in 30 years from now, they can tell me how much heroin will kill me? Bomb. Did you know 0.7 with your current heart rate will kill you? I'm point saying. Six, point, it's going to be Yeah, sick. dude. I would go 0.68. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give a 0 0.1, 0 0.01 of mistake. Error. We're error. Because I feel but like I'm going up to 0.8. By the way, here's yeah. my pill to, to, re to revive me. Yeah. 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 yeah they, just, they just sit there with something to inject you yep. with UOD. And Demolition Man is what I hope the earth is, but without the Taco Bell. Like, I hope Demolition Man uh, with, with, with a special slum. Wesley Snipes, that's why I envision the future mm -hmm. of just almost no crime and all the bad guys live under the ground. Great. Have you seen this? You yeah. It? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I imagine the earth, but with the drug technology. I watched Minority Report for the first time last night. Never seen it. Right? Really? Never, never oh, that right? It. These fools are hitting. <sighs> Little, where's that? Right. <laughs> it's coming. He hit it and went. I'm yeah. thinking about my kids. Dude, Man, that sounds sick. <laughs> That's tight. All the deadbeat dads are good dads. <laughs> like, <it's> just, <laughs> did you see the first uh, Neuralink? The first Neuralink went in somebody's brain. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. No, the first fucking Elon's thank you. Ew. That it's could be the thing. Can't, the can't feel, yeah. That'll be the thing that'll be able to track and tell you if you're going to die off your heroin or not. I think that's like in real time and play right There's now. There's zero percent chance yeah, of putting that I'm, in my head. Yeah, yeah I'm not I'm trusting Are I'm you not trusting it? Elon. No, hell no. I'm just Fuck saying that. it's out here. It's happening. If anything can do it, that's going to be with us. Whoever let it happen is paid. They didn't go like, I'll oh, volunteer first to die. Like, no. Oh, of course. No, they're, no, they're, no. They're, someone's getting, someone's nice. getting yeah. paid for that. But I yeah. think next next is going to be they're going to start like shooting people with like uh, electronic cells. Little computer cells go in there, fix your damaged cells, Let's evaluate get it. all that type of shit. Fix your eyes, twenty twenty vision. But I think that's Perfect. gonna be part of the AI stuff. Yeah, now fix you're kind of shit. now you're like a hybrid. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, I'm I, listen, man. I'm but you honestly, can live to be three hundred. I'm gonna be dead uh, before any of this shit. And and no, it'll happen right before. <laughs> and then like, you know, while I'm the, taking the heroin, yeah. 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 <laughs> here's the thing: if at 85 there is a safe way for you to do heroin uh -huh. and not die and not become addicted because of modern technology, I'll do heroin with you on your 85th birthday. Here, here's the deal: I plan on being pretty healthy when I'm 85. I would agree with that. Yeah. So that's why I feel pretty good that I can get a couple, two, three years in. With the H, yeah, you know what I mean. That's why you're lifting so hard right now. Yeah, dude, <laughs> just so I can do heroin on 85. <laughs> oh, That's the only reason yeah. I'm in. Some people work out yeah. so they can eat whatever they want. Yeah, I'm working out so I can take heroin when I'm, when I'm 85. <laughs> yeah, you go to a business coach, they say, "What's your why?" Yeah, dude. We're <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about this. Put that on a t shirt. Yeah, that's what can't be. I just want to not be fat so I can do coke again. We've talked about this many times, yeah. but I just want to be able to do drugs. But I'm not going to do them. But I, I want to be able. Because you can't be fat and do coke, you just die. Yeah, I, yeah. So I just I don't do drugs anymore. But, but also, at eighty five, I'm going. I've done coke. What's what I haven't I done? And I have not done heroin. Have you done enough coke? I actually. <laughs> maybe that's the case. Can like, I tell you? I actually <laughs> am one of the. I'm one of the people. I hated it. You hated it. I hated it. And and listen, I gave it plenty of chance. Did it still? Know. Yeah, because. Okay. I was like, I must be missing something. Let me try it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody looks like they're having such a good time. You no, know, and I, I know would actually, do it. No one is. I would just Straight shut up and sit in the corner. Your normal state is people's coked out state. Like yes. Your energy yes. is so yes. high naturally that it probably It would make up. me shut up and sit in the corner. Mm. 
So I was like, this is terrible. Yeah, I, I, was, I just talk a little more, I think. I Without do, breaks? Like, I don't... I do this. I wait for someone to put more Coke down. Oh. And then, and then I do more Coke. And I, <laughs> just sit and there and wait. there again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, it's not a fun drug for me no. anymore. It, I mean, it, it was. Doing drugs by yourself always makes you contemplate, like, why am I doing this? At what point do you remember that it stopped be, being fun? Never. Oh, never I just stopped. stopped doing drugs because I'm like, these are not good for me. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. The last time I did coke, I got a sinus infection off it, and it made me feel slow. I didn't get high. I felt almost like, and I passed out. Oh, shit. So that's why I'm like, I think I'm good. And I got a horrible sinus infection where I got, like, the, the equilibrium went off. I had to go to the hospital, all this crazy shit. So, like, yeah, nah, mm. I'm good. So we didn't, we didn't say it, but you guys were on tour. Bring your kid to work tour. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Through um, the whole summer. Yep. It basically from now until Memorial Day. Yep. September? That's Labor Day. I get those two mixed up too, but uh. until the end of May. Um, we're on the road together. Jacob now does 10, 10 minutes of stand-up. He's getting so good so quickly because he's getting a bunch of stage time yeah. and he works at his craft. He's been working really hard. And then I, I do... Um, I do my set, like 60, 70 minutes of stand-up. We do Q&A, which is maybe my favorite part of the show because we just get the fuck about. Mm -hmm. And he's get, he's he's been doing that longer than he's been doing stand-up. He's probably got more hours at his age than most. 99% of comedians coming into comedy, I'd imagine. Uh, dude, I... We, we did the math because he also has a residency uh, in Vegas where we live. And so he performs every Monday night at, Kimmel's oh, at Jimmy that. Kimmel's Comedy Club. Mm -hmm. So I get six shows a week at, with, at 10 minutes. And that's just my sets. That's 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. At most of those shows, I'm also getting at least 10 to 15 minutes on stage with him. So that's another, you know, 60 to however many. So mm -hmm. I'm getting like two Real hours reps. plus of stage time. Each week, and I'm constantly repping. I've also had a New Year's resolution that I'm doing more open mics. I did three open mics this month. Nice. Okay. So I'm just trying to, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, well, I don't, it, I don't want to get to a point where I'm only used to being at shows mm -hmm. who are, you know, surrounded by him. People know who I am. Mm -hmm. I got to go to shows where people don't know who I am and totally. still put in that work. Yeah. yeah. So away games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Away That's games. Exactly is 100 what I. What it is. Exactly what I said. I said. Uh, be, you have to play away games. And he has, and the first one, he learned a real interesting lesson. But because you're going to learn different things mm -hmm. when people don't know who you are. Big time. Completely different experience out of Yes. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say that, like on your tour, is it completely all YouTube, Facebook, Instagram fans that going up there? Yeah, it's the starting. Shows? So our podcast, Jake and, my, Jake and I do a podcast called Hey Man. And our podcast is starting to get some, we've had some clips really pop recently. Mm -hmm. And so we're starting to get podcast people. But I, I'll tell you, most of, uh, before that, I've never really had a popular podcast. So my fans who come to my shows are all comedy fans mm -hmm. from comedy clips, you know. Mm -hmm. And people, other comedians are like, dude, your fans are fucking, it's a great show. I'm like, yeah, because there's, it's comedy fans. Mm -hmm. So they're, they, they haven't, they're not waiting for me to tell a 15 minute podcast story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if there are podcast people who have never even been to a live comedy show, yeah. we get a lot of first timers yeah. and they're expect, they don't know what they're expecting. Is mm -hmm. it going to be like the podcast or right? And so uh, up until this point, it's been predominantly just people who come cause they like stand up. And so the crowds are fucking amazing. Amazing. The energy is crazy. You got Netflix coming up, right? Netflix is a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're filming that here. When? In LA, May 9th. Oh, cool. Couple months. The uh, at, the, at the Bourbon Room in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, but I would get, it's not a huge room, maybe 350 people. So I would get tickets now if you wanted to go. It's called Netflix is a joke. And this is a, a it's the couple Netflix comedians, Festival. right? It's every comic you've ever wanted to see. Really? We'll be here over these two weeks. Every oh, venue. It's two weeks? But there's also multiple shows a night. Mm -hmm. Every so venue like around South by town. Southwest, but yes. for comedy, yes, correct, yes. Holy shit! All right, yeah, that's dude. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's I thought the, it was just one thing. That was the joke was like one one. No, the stage. lineup is fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. fucking. How much crazy. time do you do? I'll do an hour and oh, twenty. Damn. Oh shit! Oh, it's just my show. 
And it's only one show. Yeah, and so, so it'll be is, Jakey and I. Do they film it and it'll put be, it out and stuff too, or is it just for I don't the fest? know. I mean, I'm sure they film it. I'm mm-hmm. sure they do. Um, but I don't. I mean, it's their footage. It's their. But I'm psyched to be there. Mm-hmm. The people, like I said, the lineup is ridiculous. Who, it's who are we talking about? Everybody. Literally, literally. <laughs> except maybe Joey Diaz. Yeah, because he. I mean, he's just. Yeah. He could do whatever he yeah. wanted to. Whatever yeah. he wanted to. Of course. He's, he, I don't think he's into traveling too much. Because like we talked about before the show, like, he would love to be able to do a Zoom. Like we talked to him before, like it's the different energy, man. Yeah. We have to be like, no, sit right fucking there. I need four mm-hmm. hours of your time. Because I know people go do the sh- stars of death with him. Like, hey, I want to be the person that make you go. I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'll eat them. Yeah. I'll keep eating them. I, I will tell you. I think <laughs> just because Lee Syatt, you know, his producer, tours with Jacob and I now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bald guy, right? Yep. yep. Super Sorry. funny. He'll be with us uh, this weekend in Buffalo. Yep. Nice. The, um, but like, I would go on that show and I would watch them eat 2,500 milligrams each. And I was just sitting there like, <laughs> uh, yeah. what are we going to do now? <laughs> and Lee kind of... He says his eyes were open, but I, <laughs> I, you go and look at the tape. I don't know. Yeah. He, he would, he would make a lot, man. He would make, he would giggle some, but like, or make a noise every now and then. <laughs> and it, and you couldn't even tell for Joey. You couldn't, right. you couldn't even fucking. Just, then he, but then he'd be smoking joints, you taking ball rips. Fucking tell. He would just do like, we would talk for two and a half hours. Mm-hmm. And and I was high just off of the weed we were currently smoking. Yeah. Mm. Not to mention I didn't eat any of the twenty five hundred yeah. fucking milligrams. It's a lot, man, dude. Did it's he also lot. eat mushrooms at the same time too? Like that? Oh no no no, that's different. That's a beast of a person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can do that if I don't want to do shit later. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to do like. Well, my day's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twenty five hundred milligrams. That's too much. I did three thousand. We did three thousand. It's, it's we did. It's a lot. I did five thousand. The next day, I was just like, I'm sedated. <laughs> Except that I'm high. I'm just like. But what at your highest? What did that feel like? Just the most sleepy, tired. Like, oh, I could just eat something while I chew it and go to sleep. We made a video. But he made, filmed a done. video playing and one basketball, shooting around by himself in a field. Oh, yeah, because I need to stay awake. So I'm like, all right, we're at 3,500. And I'm sitting there playing in a, in a grow field. In a grow, <laughs> my homie has a grows in the back. And we're just being dumb. Like, I'm crossing fucking plants and shit. <laughs> just being stupid. <laughs> it was just, I was like, what are we going to do for the past the time? Wait, 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 wait. So you, you stayed awake? Oh, yeah. And? It's not like I'm that high. It's like, all right, I'm that high. I've been higher with more concentrated edibles like when people make edibles out of shatter edibles out of hash edibles out of weed edibles they're, they get me hash edibles the syrup oh. will go sideways on there if you eat Syrup's about different. 20 of the jams will go sideways our syrups i don't h-a-c-p yeah it's, it's the most sedative thing it is so strong i i don't like taking our syrups unless i have absolutely if i'm getting on a flight i'll drink a syrup because i know i will sleep the whole flight wait it like helps it. you sleep if you drink more I'll give than you two, a I don't think you could stay awake. If you, you can't really stay awake off them, they're just, they're just so like, they're so intense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a different, uh, it's a different. Um, Your eyes, your mind just taps out like cannabinoids. It's enough. It's a different cannabinoids. So you've never had, you don't have no tolerance to that. No. Yeah. So we take a lot. Like, whoa! It's the first time I've ever had weed in my life. Is basically what is happening. So oh. people would eat a lot and go. Oh, I threw up. I was spinning at the place we gave this guy, his dad, one edible. As he's eating it, he's like, well, I've never eaten an edible. I go, stop. Why are you eating our edibles? <laughs> he's like, no, I just want to try it. He's in, it was in Vegas. Oh the guy DM'd God. me four hours later. And then he's like, I think I have to take him to the hospital. He's on the floor of the hotel. He's talking about a whole thing. He's like talking about worlds. And uh, his dad also was wearing a clock, a full-size clock covered in like face? Tesla coils and a hat covered in copper with jewels. I'm like, you don't take drugs? Why was he wearing that? That's just his hat. No, like that's for just, real. It's just, it's just his gear. <laughs> Wait, he what? This is what he rocks. I went. You do drugs? Yeah. He's you like definitely. never eaten one before. I go stop. Wait, what? Yeah. It's like twenty five milligrams. I'm like, very careful, man. If you never had drugs, 
Uh-huh. Ever? And then he's in, my dad. Everything okay? He's on the ground right now in the hospital. I can't get him. We think I'm gonna take him to the hospital. Fuck yeah! Like, did you say? Did you go? T- yeah, take him to the hospital. I told Good him he'd be fine. Just let him go to sleep. <laughs> you know, I, I'd have been like, call nine one one right now. Oh, he's yeah. dying. <laughs> so, you know what? No. Yo, your your dad is about ten minutes from death. He's that gonna gets, explode. Actually, yeah, he's. It's not gonna be good for him. No, his dude. heart's about to come out his butthole. <laughs> I, if I were you, I would get him to a hospital I right now. I don't know why I imagine it happening. Like, <laughs> yeah. so and what an opportunity to fuck with somebody. Yeah, dude, no, for he real. Was genuinely concerned. He yeah. gave me like six times in a row paragraphs. I was like, oh, oh, shit. He's, like, he's oh, on the man. ground talking about other planets. Like, well, well leave him alone. Kidding? It sounds like he's having a good time. Right? That's the man was at least 65, 70 years old. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I was like, oh, I'm a little concerned for this older man yeah. that's never done drugs and wears a clock. Or he was wearing like <laughs> testicle oils. It was wild, dude. Nah. Yeah, it is. That is, by the way, that sounds like a dude I'd like to meet. He was nice. Yeah, like some sixty-five-year-old dude wearing a clock yeah. and a fucking right? you captain's guys hang hat. out for sure. For sure. <laughs> Ready? Most interesting homeless person in your town. Go. In our town. In the town that you're from. Most interesting one. I know you have like. Oh, that's the something guy. Well, in that's the, ta- the something lady. In the town that I was from, we. Right, oh, I have two. From uh, what town? One from Sherman Oaks. That's and, where I would go. And one from Hollywood. Uh, the one from Sherman Oaks was the dude that was always down by uh, yeah, the LA down River. by the river. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's he always in a. It was a van. What? No, it was whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Matt Foley picture in my bathroom. <laughs> No, he was always in whatever clothes people threw out or he could find. So Bomb. he was, he was always homeless. in. Yeah. Yeah. But he was <laughs> always in the smallest, like a toddler girl's puffer jacket. And his arms were always just stuck fashionable. Out. Yeah. And he had always had one boot on. Mm-hmm. But what, was, what did he wear? In a tutu. He, he Always? He wore a tutu sometimes, but he always had these Barbie high heels. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. He did have heels. You, on. What you guys are ref- are describing is a male prostitute. I don't uh, think you understand. Oh, that. No, no, this man is he a male prostitute. Slept in a tent and wore basketball shorts. Except he with the tutu. Yeah. Oh, that's Eddie oh, Torres from uh, the Extra right. Testicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> I think but, you guys got a mistake. But, but he also, also, but also, didn't sleep in a tent. Just slept on the ground on the side of the LA River. He didn't sleep sometimes. In, yeah, I didn't. I never saw him. It's called grounding. He's just really one yeah, with no, the earth. Was, that's right. He's he was getting his morning light. He like he gets up with the sunlight. Make sure he, gets, he owns the house right behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was way ahead on trends. He was grounding. He was doing morning sunlight. Yep. Yeah, he would wash. He's, he would wash actually, himself in the L.A. River because it was a cold bath. Agent. He's actually just peeping the next new big properties, dude. You guys just don't know what's with the fucking whitewater rafting in the L.A. River right now, dude. Oh, dude, it's, it's uh California's not used to water. So when it comes down, everybody's like, oh, and they oh. crash and they hydroplane. Dude, <laughs> and not, then, then a normal used. amount of water rushes through the river. People are freaking out. I don't know what it is. The second there's water, I people expected go like apocalypse this. today, the way the news and everything was acting. Yeah, I was getting warnings normally. on my phone. I was like, this is like a regular ride into work. Yeah, it's like normal. Dude, but the river's going wild. The river I've is going wild. Uh, I, and it's our, it's moving t- fast. Dude, in the time that we lived here, 26 years? Never seen it like that, huh? Ever seen it? Like I just that. thought that's where they filmed Grease. Same. I was like, "What do they do? What? Yeah, there's what nothing river? they're used for. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I river? Think every time. Oh, that river. Got it. A oh, waterworks in there. Holy shit! Oh, we have an ocean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Dude. forget when we do like oh, perfect weather and weed all the time. Why are you complaining, guys? In Minnesota, like oh shit, oh, that's right. Dude, it's it's right. crested. <laughs> Right, you really forget. I mean, you forget. You, it becomes obvious when it rains like this, and everybody fucking. Like, oh yeah, out. the weather it can affect you. Shit, you guys live like this. Just live to California. Everybody yeah. talks shit. But it's like well, I'll tell you something. Go get I feel the same way about dog. living in Vegas. I've never liked living anywhere more in my entire life. In Vegas, I fucking love it. What do you do? What's your day? Go. Dude, whatever the fuck I want. You do that anywhere in your life. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but what is you? What is your thing? Like what Vegas has. I can zip line all the way to work. Or how is it? <laughs> well, if Vegas has anything, you can do. Yeah, you probably could find a zip line in Vegas somewhere. You can, but but there's, there's I, a zip line on the strip. Yeah, 
I get up every morning. I've never been outdoors more in my entire fucking life. Really? Holy shit. Like walking around your neighborhood type shit? Uh, I wake up every morning. We do like a three or four. I remember your old walks around the neighborhood. Right? Yeah, yeah, with your what dog you and finding home? trash. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm with this dog now. <laughs> yeah. But it's a day where he's an early morning dude. So it's a little different now. You guys yeah. are out in nature and shit? We're, dude, hiking yeah. mountains. No shit? Yeah, every morning. He bought a 20 pound weighted or 40 pound weighted vest. Oh. Which one is it, 20 or 40? I've gone a little psycho in the gym, or just a little yeah, bit. Sick. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't You're know. hiking mountains in a 40 it's pound It's the best vest. It's the best little addiction to have. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, I like, just like to be in incredible shape <laughs> yeah, and take but drugs and have fun. Like, oh, okay. I like it. Sound I, pretty good. I like his addiction, but at the same time, like, I, was, I have to tell him, like, he's still got to pace himself, you know? And, and he, no, you don't. Look at Sylvester yeah. Stallone. Fuck. That's you could be fucking 80 and this is huge. You could still be 80. You could still make it to 85 and pace yourself and be able to do heroin. Okay. No, heroin. Well, now you're talking my language. <laughs> there you go. You just gave him an incentive to get stronger. <laughs> so you're saying if I'm like David Goggins, I could do 80. Yo, uh, dude, I fucking. Right? Do you listen to or watch any of Goggins? He put me on. He's from Buffalo. He's from his spot. I mean. Oh, you yeah, he's why I ran the marathon, honestly. Really? Yeah. Did you listen to him in your headphones when you were jogging? I was. I wasn't even planning on running the marathon. I'm, I was just getting in shape for TED Talk. And then I was listening to his second Wait, book. Wait, stop right there. What do you mean getting in shape for TED Talk? He just wants to be better overall. So when he goes into TED Talk, he's like, all right, it's the best shape I've ever been I in. I found out we were going to do TED Talk. And I was like, I got to get in shape. He just so kept that, running like Forrest Gump did. Yeah. <laughs> he just kept <laughs> fucking going, dude. <laughs> that would be my, I'm never going to do one, but that would be my mentality. Right. Be like, just, just, just don't stop. Can we get any Coke? <laughs> but then in his book, he's like, he's like, man, motherfuckers come up all the time and say, should I start with a half marathon? Bitch, what? Why, why the fuck would you do a half marathon? And I was like, not even thinking about doing a marathon. And I was like, it just seems so impossible. And just the way he said that, I was like, that's it. I'm doing a goddamn marathon. And then I just, that was just like an even more impossible thing. I held signs for both of them. Fuck yeah. All right. And now I, I did my part. <laughs> I like, do you want to do another marathon? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it wasn't easy. It takes so much time. The only, that's the only bad part for you. I was able to train for it so hard because it was during the months we were in the other studio and they were like, you know, supposed to be handling everything. So I was like, had time to go to the gym, but now I'm back on it. Now I've just, I've reworked my schedule to where I'm a real psycho. Can I ask you, has, has, since you've run the first marathon or started training for it, has it changed any other aspect of your life? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just way more like I know I can do something now. Like after that, I was just like it fired me up because it seems so impossible because I'm not a runner mm-hmm. at all. And after that, I was just it just gave me way more confidence. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons that I um, challenge myself with that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's so like I just wanted to see like I, I was too comfortable. Fuck yeah! Like, do I even got this in me? Fuck like, you know? yeah. It's such a huge thing to run a fucking marathon, you psychos. Dude. Yeah. It's I'm ugh. good. Yeah. But then Me again, too. it's like I'm fixing my back. I'm like, maybe I can walk a little bit more. Yeah. I, All right. I might not do it this year. I might. We'll see. But and, 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 did you notice year. any wear and tear on your body? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like what? Like I noticed when I'm <laughs> besides the broken. loss of toenails, <laughs> it's breaking. No, it, it takes a toll to on your body. Because I didn't really know like how much I had to train to be ready once I was mm-hmm. out there. So I'm going for 10 miles, run, 15 mile runs. And I had to learn that when I run outside, that tears up my legs. I got to keep it on the elliptical and on the treadmill. Because oh, really? when I start going on the concrete is when I get really sore. There's no I give on concrete. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's mostly still uneven. So, so is, do you still feel it like right now? Uh, when, I got, when I started going back in the gym just like two weeks ago, I just picked right back up. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, I felt, I just like snapped back into myself because I've taken the past, since the marathon, building the show back up and shit. I had to really, really dial in my schedule to keep everything to like, more so ever than ever in life before. That's like, awesome. Here, dude. I'm here, here, I'm here, here, I'm here. And that's the only way it's going to get done. But yeah, so we'll see. I want to dunk. I want to run another marathon. I want to dunk. Dude, dunk. <laughs> you got to follow this dude. What's, it, what's the page called? Knees over toes. I think you've mentioned mm-hmm. him before. I, I, yeah. I just started following him a couple weeks ago. Knees over toes is a guy. I'm going to fuck it up because I'm a little high. But he fucked up his knee, had made major reconstructive 
surgery, maybe on both knees, I don't know, but found that through these walking backwards exercises, build the knee back up. He has like a 42 inch vertical and oh, can dunk. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm so oversimplifying it. <laughs> right Turns now, out because my brain surgeries. is like a really How, how are you feeling on high? <laughs> like I feel <laughs> I'm high. Yeah, yeah high. <laughs> are you, the walls you, going crazy or not so much? Where the re- where's the rest of the where's that bag? I'm not that high. I will eat more of them. I'm driving. Yeah. Okay. No, well, how, how, how long ago did you take him, though? Well, when we started. What? How long have we been here? I mean, fifty-four minutes. I haven't really. F- I mean, I get that. I'm getting this. Little, little, gl- not glitches, but like, those aren't those aren't matching up right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know, over here with a joint in his mouth, yellow glasses. <laughs> here, man. Here, yeah. here, bud. <laughs> Look at it. Have fun, yeah. kid. I sell, dr- I sell drugs at the golf club. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a golf cart. With just a baggie sure. full of pills. Yeah. Here you go, lady. Want, this was yeah. for your dick. <laughs> uh, no, this is for your dick. This is for mushrooms. <laughs> this is estrogen, actually. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> just me at the bar with a fucking shh right? in the bag. What's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors. We are very excited. This is Factor. For everyone that has those New Year's resolutions to lose weight, to get in better shape, Factor can help you on the daily. Also, it's not boring, okay? There's 35 different options a week. So right now, if you want to take the steps and make a better you, and if you're like me and you procrastinate and meal prepping is not for you, get Factor because that is what they do, and they can make it part of your day. So right now, if you go to factormeals.com and use our discount code DOPEASUSUAL50, you get 50% off your entire order. You can go to restaurants with any deal you get and it's still not going to be 50% off. And these are coming to your house. They're prepped. So just try it out, guys. Remember, dope as usual, 50 at checkout. That is 50% off. And you guys already know, I don't eat meat. I'm very strict on stuff I eat. Marty also does not eat meat. There's keto, calorie smart, veggie, vegan, anything you can think of. There's shakes, there's snacks, there's full meals, there's small meals. There's, There's something for every single person out there. And if you're like me, you don't have really time to be home and cook all the time, this is exactly for you. Guys, right now, go to factormeals.com and use our code dope as usual. 50 and you get 50% off your entire order. Shout out to Factor. Have a dope ass day. Hey, what's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is Manscaped. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Don't go into it with a dirty dick. As you know, here at the Dope as Usual Podcast, Manscaped is our first sponsor, been with us the longest. We just mesh well. These ad reads are fun. You guys see them. You guys like them. Here they are. It's Valentine's Day. Go clean up that dick with the Performance Package 5.0. Lawnmower, Weed Whacker, Boxers, Ball Deodorant, Ball Toner. You guys already know what Manscaped has, but this is the time. It's Valentine's Day. Make sure you are right. Be prepared. If you're prepared in life, make sure your balls are prepared too. Manscaped is not just for your dick. They also have the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Beard oil, beard bombs, beard comb, everything to make sure you you look proper. It is not just this head that needs to be taken care of. And as always, go to manscaped.com forward slash Yola or use the checkout code Yola and check out and get 20% off plus free shipping. You, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you're buying for your significant other. Valentine's Day is coming up. This is the biggest hint you can get. So once again, go to manscaped.com forward slash Yola and or use code Yola at checkout. 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you guys so much for supporting the brands that support us. Back to the episode. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up, Jake's been out here saving lives. Save a little pups. Oh, yeah. This absolutely. Like, what? Yeah, I was oh, like, yes, what are we talking sucks. about? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend and I have started going to uh, Nevada SPCA uh, uh, in Vegas as much as we could, as much as we can to just see the dogs there and, uh, you know, just try to help out a dog that's been there for too long or uh, is losing hope. Um because, you know, we love to rescue dogs, like mm-hmm. every dog I ever had with him, our first dog, Rock, and the dog he has right now, Indiana Jones. Uh, and then the girlfriend, my dog, and I, or ooh, the dog my girlfriend and I have. Mm-hmm. Mushrooms. <laughs> this guy's on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we rescued as well. Um, so, you know, we just we just like to go out and support and try to do something uh, nice. But well, you're putting him up on Instagram and finding him homes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's two for two. Actually, I'm, did I post Rudy? I don't know if I did. But a dog we went and saw for a little bit. Oh no, the one I the one I was playing tug of war with, and the one that tackled him on that yeah. we did post about. He just got adopted too. Is that three for three. Yeah, he was. He had been there for it's a pretty long great. time. So we're. I it's, don't know, it's 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 super just, cool to make a difference like that, dude. Yeah, we really like it. Uh, it's just really fun, and, and we just we love the staff there, and, and also awesome. selfishly, I really just like to go say hello to dogs. Oh uh, yeah, dogs uh, are cool as shit. We every time we go, we just bring like you know a bag of dog food, something, just whatever they need, and we go say hey to a couple dogs. Film a video with one of them that needs it, mm-hmm. and then, uh, and then that's it. And but it's it's been it's been a really uh, a 
It's been a really good time. Yeah, Truthfully. but you've always get. He did that lot when he was a kid. He did that locks for love. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, where you hair grow off. your hair. Yeah, and yeah. the kids, you know, so the kids at school were kind of brutal, but he kept growing it. He was because his grandma had cancer, so he was doing it for her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. At a real they were young making fun age. of your hair because your hair was longer? Yeah. yeah. Dude, what? this dude. Yeah. I don't know if I've heard <laughs> that I, one. I will, I will say, though. Oh, yeah, I have it. And looking back on it, I, 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 would never, I, never, I would never change it for a thing. Now, it's one thing. I want to make that clear. Mm -hmm. However, looking back on it at this moment, like in this moment in the timeline, I can see why there were some comments. Fuck right? yes. <laughs> Who would you compare uh, your haircut yo. to? I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what was said to me by a friend in the yearbook committee, my eighth grade year. Oh. I cut my hair. Uh, winter break of my eighth grade year. So I came back from Christmas break with short hair. And people were like, who are you? And I was like, dude. And they were like, holy, who the f when did you do that? I was like, I did it literally last night. And we got the yearbooks about a month later. <laughs> and dude, my, and my buddy in yearbook comes What's up to me before on? they come out. And he goes, hey man, you're going to want to see your photo. And I was like, why? And he goes, Cause you look like a fucking witch. That <laughs> <laughs> bad. bad. So, <laughs> so specific. So specific yeah. and so spot on. Like if I don't, I'll try. I wonder if anybody I can find that specific photo. Somebody I know has that year. What kind of outfit you have on? No, bro. It was Dude, the hair. Can I and tell just, you? Like, the baby face. Yeah. It was just. <laughs> he came home. And I go, you got the yearbook? And he goes, yeah. And he kind of tosses it and lands on the couch. And he goes, I'll beat you to it. They say I look like a witch. <laughs> and I was like, what? Well, I couldn't wait to see the picture. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, it's not that far <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, it was a little witchy. <laughs> it was pretty bad. What grade? Eighth, eighth grade. Eighth oh, grade. Witchy. Yeah. Yeah. But the glow up was real. People were like, your yearbook picture sucks. And I was like, good thing I don't look like that anymore. Mm. So it, it, but, it, 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 was, it was for a good cause. Absolutely, so good dope. That was, that was he took mom's. a lot of shit. Yeah, my mom's mom had yeah. cancer, so I, I I did that. But yeah, it was a uh, yeah. But you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything for it. No, dude, you're here. My uh, yeah. my senior yearbook. I went to go open it. I'm like, oh, oh, they forgot me, and they fucking forgot me in my senior <laughs> yearbook. <laughs> no, oh, no, what? what? Hey. I didn't know you were gonna have to go take a picture. They just use your ID picture. The cutoff was the cutoff to get your picture in. You need to explain that more. I'm not. I don't show up to school. You Wait, need to explain it better when I'm there. Did they at least put your name? <laughs> yeah, in? They put my name in a list of other fucking delinquents. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me. Just honorable. I thought mentions. they were going to use my picture like they done at 11th through first. They just used the little ID on the card. Yeah, and throw the picture in. I don't need a suit. I ain't driving to Modesto. And they, I just went oh, and I told the lady, I'm like, I want my money back. She's like, There's no refund. So like, you forgot my picture. She went, oh, I'm like, I'm a senior, by the way. She went, okay, here's your refund. And I bought a quarter. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I remember the day I went, oh, no senior, but uh, yeah, yeah, weed. Yeah. I don't think I know where mine is. I just found ours yesterday. I found all of them. Really? We just moved. Yeah. So I just put, we have one little keepsake box. It's like, wow, yearbooks? Yeah, I'll keep it if I get Do you have yours? Fuck no. Yeah. Marty doesn't I don't care. have anything. I Marty just has much. his parents' yeah. eyes. Yeah. He kept no possessions. Was like, no, nah, I don't want any of this stuff. I, I don't, are you not a hoarder at all? I got one box full of shit of my shit yep, right that up. I grew up with. It's a box full of fucking bars and shit, like notebook paper. Oh, like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, it. I got, it. yeah. And I got a box full of my ma stuff and my dad's guitar, and that's it. No shit. No possessions. That's how I want to live. I just want to be able to go. Oh, I can pick everything up on my deck. Me too, Walk dude. Off, I have to. We don't have an attic. We I don't have do a that. basement. Oh, I need to. We got a garage. Yeah. So, and I got four kids. We got all all this. I got my do studio you keep out there. Most of their shit. Yeah. Artwork, all that stuff. No, Marty, Marty's that yeah. guy that put the yeah. things in the top where you put the bins and they slide on oh, top yeah. of your garage. Crushed it. He's I Al Borley. Al Borley. So fucking. Yeah. Over that was here. the most adult thing we ever did. Oh, oh I mean, he I called me the second he did. He goes, "We got matching huh? bins up in that motherfucker, Dave." Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you do. Awesome. We got the floor done in that motherfucker. Yeah. Did you? In his garage, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It looks like this. It's yeah. nice. Oh. Luxury. Yeah. The it's walls not are not luxury. painted with one strip in the ground, what the, one strip that's in the, the brown. When the garage door comes up, that's the noise it makes. Luxury. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just spits and then it, bars. And it just mists a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
I like that. Yeah. yeah a little fart spray. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> yo. Or, uh, you, you, or some dude just farts. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Every time you open the garage. Hilarious. You How are you off. feeling yet? How are you? Are you feeling these heavily? Oh, are you talking know. to me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your eyes. He was looking directly, directly into his <laughs> eyes. <directly at> you. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I think he was looking at the joint. Yeah. Your glasses are see through. Hey. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty high. Yeah. I know, but because I've seen you like this. Uh, like looking for your glasses in the dark. I've I seen you do that a I've lot. I've definitely seen you higher. I'm oh. not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Let me try that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. I like the blue ones. I'm definitely high, but I'm not like. Did you, did you eat the blue ones or just the. I the blue ones, yeah. They're, I like it. Yeah. I just feel more like this. A little raised up is, over here. Your load is right there. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, the blue ones are the blue manies. I like it. I like it. I don't feel like uh, melting everywhere. Mm. I don't no, feel like I'm good. like, oh. I, the way that's they, I've yeah. never done them. The way they were, ex, the way they were explained to me was that they were like, like f happy and laughy and they are happy and laughy. I like them. Why mm. were were happy but or laughy? Were those the, any of the dwarfs? Happy, I think. I don't think laughy's a word. Happy definitely. Laughy. Happy was one. Dopey. Dopey. Not laughy. Dopey. Happy. <laughs> mm, grumpy. I don't know these fucking guys. <laughs> Yo, I have no idea. I, I, I should, had a, a I doc. <laughs> yes, doc. doc. Doc is one of them. Doc is one of them. Stop. Is no, one of them's name is Doc. Swear to God, I think I'm done at Doc. <laughs> yeah. No, one yeah, of the one of the, one of the seven doors name is Doc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should know this because happy grumpy. Why uh, should you know this? Because my girlfriend and I love this. Oh Disney? my God! Stop. Hold on. Wait, Can I ask you a question? You t is he, are you a Disney adult? We had Disney passes. This just passes. That's this different. Past That's year. fine. Are you a Disney adult? Like, Def define, define. Does your girlfriend cry when she gets there? No, no, no. no. Okay. She just. Have you she, seen these videos? She, she grew up in Orange County. Oh, so, so she's like, used to it. Bingo. It's like so weed in California. Up, she, like, ah, I've she had grew it. up there, so it's just okay because like, the Disney adults are crazy. No, no. No, no, no. Okay, so want to make like sure. Crying it's just fun. Joy? Yeah, they fall on their knees in videos. They're crying. For which part? When they get to Disney. Mm. Wait till I, they see that seventeen dollar yeah. pickle. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna bum it's them a, the fuck out. I'll tell you that. Walk to that back of that first line. Yeah, yeah, like two hours. <laughs> past Yo, no. They've actually made a system now. I don't know how long it's been since you guys have been, but I'll tell you this: they've made a system to where if you just pay a certain amount of money, you get a fast pass throughout the entire thing for pretty much every. So ride. they're being reasonable. Well, you just have to pay a uh, more like thousand. Oh, so you no, mean no, no, like no, they've no, always no. done it? Well, no, because the fast passes used to be free. You used to go and just hit one. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, my that sounds like they're losing money. <laughs> That's there. what I said. That I was like, what's good. the point of them? Yeah, then? Like, try one of your joints. Yeah, yeah it was. It yeah, was but yeah, so now it's like a system where you have to like buy into the system. It's pretty cool. A little yeah, pearls. but you can Amazing, reserve dude. a time slot where you just show That's up. super mm -hmm. cool. And yeah. then or you want to try a pink paper. That's how it was last time I was there. Yeah, and so it makes sense. Oh, sick. That looks cool. That's what I think. Glass tip? Oh, whatever you want. Oh, Sure. Just, now, Josh, I heard another funny story where uh, you saw, uh, I don't want to give too much of this away here. I don't know if you heard this one yet. You saw a dude pull something else out on stage. I just heard a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a dude pull something out. Was he in the front row? You it was mean? attached to him, I think. Yeah. Are you talking about the dude with the kilt? Yeah. What? Yeah, he was in the front row of one of my shows. Oh, you saw the when he came up on stage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, some people, when I tell these stories, they're like, that's not real. But so every now and then. Bring the guy up. Yeah, bring the guy up. <laughs> you know? he, he came back to the show? He came back to the show. He, his girlfriend had hit me up and was like, hey, we'd like to come to the show. I was like, tickets on me. Fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I said, is he wearing a kilt? And she said, of course he's wearing a kilt. Why did you know he had a kilt? Because the first time I met him, he was in the front row of my show, and he was wearing a kilt. And if you're in the front row at a comedy show and you're wearing a kilt, dicks out. The comic's gonna talk to you. Oh, I was <laughs> dick out. 
Yeah. I mean, if his dick was out, somebody's definitely going to talk to him. They're at least going to say, hey, dude, your dick's out. Your dick's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the very least, they were going to get a, hey, dude, your dick's out, which is not something that I've ever had to say. Hey, dude, your dick's out. Because if you say that, you're saying it because you think the other guy doesn't no. know, right? Yeah. Because you could be like, <laughs> where? <laughs> you could be like, hey, dude, your dick's out. <laughs> like, you're, yep, surprised by it. That's right. Yeah, that's how you would do it. But, like, I've never had to say that. That would be terrible to have to say, hey, dude, uh huh, your dick's out. Yeah, what? I've been, I was at a comedy this special taping a story. I was at a special taping as part of the crew at one point in my career for some random comedian. Part of the crew, dude was in the stands. In the middle of the show, I only know this because he told me afterwards, he said he didn't want to get up and disturb anybody, so he took a piss in a bottle during the filming of the fucking show in the middle of a packed theater. Badass, dude. <laughs> I applaud and also, ooh. Wait, so was it a bottle? Cause that's I'm just pretty assuming. I'm assuming. Aim, right? You got in the dark. The dude you work for oh, up on stage dark, in the dark, and so you kind of, kind of. Be, well, I'm an expert because I've been in a truck my whole life. My dad's. I'm not stopping. So is it down? It's a point. Hold on. You just you have to piss and hope. <laughs> is it a point? If down? you hit it's bumps, a straight point down. Yes. Are you hovering? Point straight down, almost like you're like, almost like a boat dock. Yeah. So like <laughs> half your assholes on the seat. <laughs> You got people next to you too. Why is your ass out? That's what well, I'm no, saying. my ass isn't out. Well, like, <laughs> oh, he's in a packed theater. He's, he's got, got, well, he's got people next out. to him. My dick. To the zipper. Dick. Right, but I don't mean my actual asshole. I just mean. <laughs> your ass. No, I'm not eight. I don't pull, pull my pants down to my dick. <laughs> 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 First time I saw that, guys, I was yeah. a kid. I didn't get it, and it was a biker <laughs> with like the leather jacket oh. on his pants to his knees, his ass. Like, what? And I walked to the stalls. Like, what is happening? Big ass guy. Yeah, you can't do that after a certain age. It's not okay. No, it's just odd. I, I, I still see it time to time. I'm like, what? But it's older. It's an older. It's an older guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no Don't newest. Say it. He was going to chime in with some on our podcast. Sometimes I'll say something and he'll be like, do you know how old that sounds? So he reminds me of my age a lot. It's, I felt like what, the, he had one loaded. So I so you to, just try to sniff it. I just okay. jumped in front of it. <laughs> I wasn't sure. What are you going to He had <laughs> I didn't have anything smart. I was just gonna say I'm gonna start telling people that you that's how you pee. That's that that is. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> that It's in his rider. Hilarious if you did that. It's in his rider. Don't be I'm disturbed. Come up with something just how he pees. I'm gonna come up with something about it just to start. I don't know, maybe like a, a quick like two minute something about it. I'll figure it out. Dude, that <laughs> would be so funny. You gotta start if you off you a story like that. Tell yeah. Yeah. in the bathroom. You, 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 yeah. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. You dare. You get, you're, you're starting to get to that age where you just, just play straight like, to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, because all the guy, all the dudes who uh, do pulls, it's all that old man ass, that old. So flat, he says, oh. oh. Horrifying. And you walk straight and you miss the urinal next to him, even though it's open. Oh, it's so terrible. you'll wait for a stall. I'm like, I'm not pissed next to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Your whole body's out. It's your nuts. whole body's And then out. the guys that do this and they pull their shirt. No, no. Why they piss with the pants down? I've, I've seen that many times. Yeah, it's like children. No, and grown men. <laughs> when I was a child, I'm like, I shouldn't be in the bathroom with you, man. Right. I think, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll tap, tap me in when you leave. Tap me in with <laughs> For real. Hold on, hold on. Man with a kilt. Oh. Rosie, can you roll some more joints? Man with a kilt. Was in the front row. And um, I asked him, what do, are you wearing underwear? And he said, I'll tell you what I tell everybody else. You got to lift it up to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, what age is this man? He's probably 
Between mid mid thirties. Yeah. Oh. He's funny. And I was like, he was hoping old man thing. Yeah. Dude, I told him, I go, hey, you're challenging the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't think that you thinking that me lifting up this kilt and if you have just dick out, it's going to make, gonna me, make me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it might make these people co- uncomfortable, which is why I would do it. Yeah, for sure. Right? But yeah. And he... Dude, he spread his legs and he went, get in there. I, I Listen, I only had one option. To get in there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or the shoe. Yeah. But anyways, no. so he came back to the show. Wait, you did it at the show? Yeah, this was this happened at the show. I'm saying you did the first time you have the show. Oh, oh shit, your dick's out. And then get, and continue with the show. Yeah, what am I gonna do? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like this, this, but this was a this was how long ago was this? So this was a cool minute ago. Mm-hmm. And then he came back. And he came back. This. I noticed that on the last one I smoked, you got hit it hard. Yeah, this. Um, this I one. noticed the same thing. It's one every roast more. <laughs> okay, so um, he came back. He came back, but yo, he wasn't wearing underwear again. But I didn't need to see his dick twice. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Like, I only need to see your dick once. I wish I could make this guy look at my dick again. Yeah, I was like, listen, dude, you, I, your dick's still under there? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not lifting that up. I'm not, you know. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Fool me twice. Definitely shame on, <laughs> shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, oh, I, but, but he was, it was a fucking, this dude was so funny, dude. Besides the lift it up and all that stuff. At one point, he said, you can do it, but you got to keep eye contact with me the whole time. <laughs> and I was like, this fucking guy. I don't how, like this how, guy at all. Power move. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So I was doing this while lifting his kilt. Dude, it was beyond funny. Beyond funny. One of my favorite stories that I have on on um, on YouTube. It's it, because the dude... I'm forgetting a lot of punchlines because I'm pretty high. I think I'm higher than I normally am on stage. Really? really? You, you are holding it together so well but today. But not, but I think it's, no. Yeah, I, I don't know where you were going with that. You just like, gave up in that sentence. Like, yeah. Too much on. energy in this thought. I'm fucking done. I've been there a few times. Got it? Nice. Yep. Now, I was trying to decipher if the story was what was going on in the story. I only listened to a little bit of it. Did you accidentally send a dick pic to somebody in your family? Uh, yeah, man. A long time ago. Uh, <laughs> to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Like <laughs> Listen. Oh, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Listen. I never did that. <laughs> No, you did not. You didn't. You didn't send one. Didn't but send your mom one found one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's different. And that's no, different. it isn't because th- that's the whole dick pic story that that I, I tell about him. Yeah, that's every. I mean, our whole household that saw your dick. Unfortunately, hey, I want I want everybody to know this though. They used the my email address for the iCloud. Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't know why, but like they I don't said, know why you set it up. No. Yeah, but <laughs> fuck. I don't know why I use my e- own email, dude. You set it up. Why did I set? I think I asked you to set it up under yours, and you said you didn't want the emails. I don't know, but you set it up. Somebody use my whatever own. email. You think I set up the fucking iPhone? <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't even know how to use it. I, I still don't know how to get an iCloud. I know sure. it's. Things start downloading when I have a lot of pictures. That's all I know. Not hidden. Not hidden. Damn it. Let me see it. Maybe, you, maybe it's just me. We tweak it. We tweak it. It happened to me the other day, too. Um, okay, hold on. What, what happened? A long time ago, yeah? What'd you do? What do you mean, what did I do? What'd you do to your mom? <laughs> oh, I didn't do anything to her. <laughs> 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 I mean... You put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I just, it was an accident. 
and uh, <laughs> she sent me back a pic- she sent me back a text that just said what is that and i was like oh my god why don't you know what a dick is like what is that is dad's dick so much different than mine is is he packing a hammer like why why now you might have to send me a picture of dad's dick so, you know like what the fuck I don't understand. Like you know what I mean? That was her. That was her reaction. What is that? What is that? And that was your thought. That's packing. My uh, thought was, why? Why don't you know what a dick is? It's fair. When was this? Eh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> grown, grown adult man with children. What do you mean? What is it? <laughs> How did this? End? It was more insulting than anything else. What do you mean? What is that? Maybe it wasn't this a head-on picture. You could know. have been a bad angle. Yeah, could have been a bad angle. You know, I never thought of that. <laughs> I think it could have been a head on <laughs> Wild as shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just went, what do you mean? Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh. You're like, what the fuck? Weird. It's like a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> Get a picture of a tunnel. Yeah, who knows? Yo, so that's it? It ended there? Yeah, yeah, well, we don't talk about it. <laughs> no, the, the text stopped. Yeah, she went. What is that? And you didn't reply. No, I didn't reply. <laughs> is that when you realize you sent it to her? When no, she I knew that I sent it because I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> you didn't sound like so concerned. Do you know one of those? Where you're like, oh no, that's the wrong reply. Yeah. You reply to the wrong chain. Just reply to the wrong chain. Is your mom's name, her name in it, or does it say mom? I was unfortunately doing simultaneous texting, <laughs> and I just fucked up the Crazy, thread. That was on the Dude, list. I <laughs> fucked up the thread. That was on the list of priorities. Send a dick pic. Talk to my mom. I can do this business. <laughs> hey, listen, dude. I, sometimes you multitask, but it, you lose. And I lost this one. You know? But I didn't because it's uh, it's a funny story. We've never talked about it, my mom and I. Maybe when I'm 85 doing heroin. And she's making sure you're okay pouring water on your head. Remember when you sent me that dick pic? <laughs> I'll be like, finally. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> But it's not something you don't have to. It's, it's like you don't true. have to text. Sorry, not for you. I think that's <laughs> a given. You know? yeah. <laughs> Maybe you do. Do you know oh. what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? So like, either you text it like a block of sorries, or you just let it be. I think you just. I just fucking. You know what you should do after that? Send a couple funny naked dude pictures from Google. But oh. Sending this to Martin. My bad, mom. I was sending a bunch of stupid shit to my friend. Send that shit She's to like, me. oh, okay. It looked like your dad's dick, but I could have swore. All right, I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, I mean, listen, hindsight being what it is, <laughs> no, I could have no. done a lot of things different. <laughs> <laughs> my brain would have scrambled, like, no, there's got to be yeah, something I can you. do to change this. <laughs> it's the ultimate fuck up. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You can undo messages now. What? I don't know yeah, if yeah, yeah. gave me that. this big ass. Oh, cannabis infused. I thought this was mushroom. Wait, a thousand milligrams of mushroom shake? Oh, no. Oh. Was, sorry. It was a thousand. That's perfect. That's fine. I thought that was like a thousand milligrams of mushrooms. Oh, oh no, no. That's, oh, no, that's, a, that's one gram, but it's yeah, like, that's no, a lot. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's in like a thousand. But we oh, found out now yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that a thousand is like an appetizer for you. No, no. Those two, I'll still get high. I just won't be like, whoa. Where like everybody else like, I need to go to the hospital. That's never happened to me except for dabs when I first started dabbing heavy. How long have you been able to eat that much? Forever. Forever? Yeah, probably. Are you still going deep with the edibles or not yeah. so much? Yeah, I mean, what do you... Your, to- your tolerance has gone super down, though. Like yeah. you, you can still take 100 milligrams if you want, but like you can now get high off of 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it used to be I it agree. was a minimum, like, 100 yeah, it's never been crazy. Yeah, it's not n- nuts, but it's what you can handle. Like, what joint got me high? I can smoke 30, though, if I need, if I wanted to. That's, That's how I feel about edibles. Oh, That's right. it. Yeah. So I've never pushed it. No, uh, not fun. It, 100 usually gets me mm. to where I need to go. And between 100 and 200, something like that. 200 when I'm really... 200 when you're on mushrooms. Feeling pretty spicy. Dude, Dude for some reason, edibles do sh- nothing to me when I'm on mushrooms. It's they, just like drinking water. 
They bring really? him down. There's nothing to me. I don't even. I forgot I ate him because the mushrooms are hit me so hard. That's what I've noticed. I don't know. Like bong rips. If I'm drunk, I could take the biggest bong rip on earth, and it doesn't matter. When you're drunk, you could take the biggest bong rip. Oh, dude! I, I, I I'm not worried about the. Oh, it's gonna get yellow. It's gonna taste like shit. I just like ah. Oh, that's yeah, like, that's like me on like. I feel like I can do that on mushrooms or on acid. See? Am I the only That's person that would, if I was drunk and took a bong rip, would, would throw up all over the yeah. place? Yes. <laughs> I'd probably no, a lot of people. A lot I of mean, people like, pro- in, a pro- in a projectile yeah. kind I, of. A lot of people would. Oh, man. okay. Oh, okay. No. Yes, I have. No. Would you? I almost have twice. I what? almost puked on people twice like that. Oh, yeah. dude, I threw up I on his would. mother-in-law once. Oh, what? No. <laughs> yeah, that was straight <laughs> more alcohol. She was feeding me all kinds of random different alcohols and shit, and I came yeah. real close to puking all over, like super close. But then the other time <laughs> was in front of all the amazing. <laughs> Mario has some really awesome. St- he has it on tape. No, there was this goofy. Uh, we this this whole story. Me and April had this hotel, and we befriended this hooker that was hanging around out front. <laughs> And That's a banger. I just having f- just friendship. Where what, what hotel Irvine? Like it's super nice not hotel. A scary place. It's <laughs> nice. And they're just ha- she was just hanging out out front. Well, yeah, in the back. <laughs> 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 she was just staying at the hotel. We found out she was a hooker afterwards when she started talking and shit. She had weed. When she started talking and shit, I realized she was a <laughs> But I was drunk. She had just fought this other hooker she was with. Oh, what? Oh, let's yeah. go. In the parking lot? In the hotel. We he has on like, tape. All right. They were all, April, they were all in the back of this hotel smoking. By the way, why didn't you lead off this podcast with this story? The fans know this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so we were just all staying in this hotel and they're in the back smoking and shit and they just started talking. The other psycho hooker bitch comes out. Now she's kind of methy. But we go to get the weed. Kind of methy, I know. What a great descriptor. Descriptor, because I'm like. Descriptor? <laughs> we go to get the Just weed out of the, the uh, yeah. <laughs> hotel room. The, uh, the one girl starts beating down the other girl. I get it on camera a little bit. I'm blackout drunk. I never drink. This was the night that could be uh, Maul McGregor. You hear <laughs> What? Are you fucking for real? He's really. <laughs> And then we got this bitch's weed and we went out in the front of the what hotel. What do you mean? What, where, how did you get her weed? We went up to her room to get her weed to begin with. And that's oh. when she fought her roommate that she was there with, this other hooker she was with. So we got the weed, security came, we went back down, sat in front of the hotel. I'm super drunk at this yeah. point. And then I just we just started smoking this weed. And then, you and your girlfriend. And we had a soccer mom with us too. Get the fuck <laughs> did you how did, how did on the way down the stairs you picked no, her up? No, she was out in the back to begin with. She was tagging along too. Soccer mom, like her family was asleep in the fucking hotel. Damn, what a savage. Yeah, so she was just, it was just pure entertainment. These bitches are are ready. Yeah. This one's, uh, this one's. But uh, then out of nowhere, I'm talking to the soccer mom and I projectile puke everywhere after I rip the joint. Oof. (laughs) That's what it was, dude. (laughs) Yeah, it's the joint. Yeah. Fucking get you. I I can smoke and then drink. Uh, Yeah, see, no, I'm a, what do you say? My mom and dad were both on acid and they were drug addicts the night they had me. (laughs) So I'm like, I felt like they were like, yo, here's a, here's a little Everything. tolerance for you. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Just a fucking. A da- See if you can make it through life with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what happened there. Like, well, he's got a head on his shoulder. He's not going to do too many drugs. That's why I think. Cause not until you're 85 anyways. I've done a lot of different drugs. Just don't get hooked on them. Right. Like crack was not fun. I smoked. I was like, Ugh. this is what you guys do. Like, it's not fun. PCP is disgusting. Meth was gross. I agree with mm. that. It's all nasty. I've yeah. never done anything but some little bootleg Molly that didn't do shit back in two thousand nine. <laughs> that sounds scarier than everything I did. It honestly, sounds like a great name for a band. Are you kidding? Bootleg, bootleg Molly. Bootleg Molly? Yeah, does. <laughs> Fuck. Definitely going to see them play. I've a, I've only done acid and mushrooms. Those are the highest. That's a high side. Keep right. it that way. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Anything that a hippie would do, you do that. But like hippies that don't do nos. We'll do Nas or anything. Ready for another joint? Yeah, what's Nas? It's the most oh, gnarly nice. episode of intervention of all time. This bitch was on this oh, keyboard. Nice. I already, I already, I already uh, oh. massaged it out. Thank you. Go for it. So Nas is the, is the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fast and Furious said people. Yeah. And you're yeah, all the, wrecked. The, the, oh, I, oh, it's nitrous. not keyboard nitrous. buster. Oh, nitrous. Nitrous. Can that too. Nitrous, oh, yeah. Okay. I went to a party recently. Yeah, you, can just, you know you can just buy the cannabis. Everyone was doing it. 
I didn't know that. It sounds like I'm in high school. Everyone no, was doing it. But like I was shocked. There were grown ups <laughs> with balloons. In the in Philadelphia, I, when I left my show, there was this I th- Hmm, I forget. I think you can Google it. I don't know if this is who was supplying it, but I think there's something called the Philadelphia Nitrous Mafia or something like that. For real, something like that. But but out near the Fillmore, they would. Um, it was just an alley filled with people nodding out, nodding yeah. out with balloon, and a dude at the top of the yeah. alley just with a, like Lighting a balloon. Up. Yep. They do make concerts too. The guy will run out with a tank in his backpack. With a rope, like a little, a little tube, and he'll fill up balloons where people sell them. I, dude, They're I asked the overseas. guy, I go, you're right here in public. I'm like, I go, he was like, I was like, how? it's so ballsy. He said, if, if a cop, if I see a cop, I open it up, I kick it down the alley. By the time they get it, there's no gas in it. Oh. Smart. Is it even illegal? No. I think it is no, illegal to sell balloons? it. It's illegal oh, to, to s- distribute. But you ready for this? Like, but they, it was so crazy. It was just there was just a bunch of people yeah. who had come out of my show. They were just in the alley, oh, fucking shit. hitting balloons. I was like, "Holy shit, dude!" I, that's oh wild. God. That's wild. Well, I, I could I could take you to a smoke shop right now. But I now. think you could Google that. I could take you to a smoke shop right now in in like uh, Van Nuys that sells the kits, the, the cans. The Everyone wind. does the whipping kit. Like no, there's the, there's, like there's the, balloon. There's mean? packages. Go to liquor stores. Go to any liquor store. There's little Nas tanks. Go to, there's they sell what it everywhere. Mean? Dude, it's, it's just wh- little it's whipped cream. Tanks. It's what's in whipped cream. So you can turn the, the whipped cream upside down. And yeah, it's the same shit in a tank. It's that they sell with balloons and they sell them at parties. Bro, I went to a party. You could buy them just at a yeah, it's just like in whippets. You get whippets as for for airsaw for paintball guns. It's the same shit. Yep. I mean, I'm not saying that gas is the same. Yeah. but I'm saying people just get a tank, and that's the party. We, Rosie was with me. I went to a party, man. People I know. This guy walked in, the guy I know, he goes, yo, got the tank. went, you're not really doing that for real. He goes, what do you mean? I'm like, are you really doing whippets like that? He goes, this is Nos. I go, you smoke this weed, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. Are you for real? And then 90% of the party left inside and all started hitting balloons. And I'm sitting there like, have you, oh, I've never, crazy. have you ever done it? When I was broke and I had no weed and I was 13, I would get the air freshener, put two towels stacked on it, put the air freshener on full blast, and it would absorb all the moisture and you would get so just... You damn near pass out, dude. What? <laughs> what? Because it lets all the gas out, but you don't get the air freshener. But if you swear too hard, you get a mouthful of foam. It tastes like flowers because it's air freshened. <laughs> 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 I used to do all the time. So everywhere what? in my bathroom, there's like little little wet spots on all the towels because I just combine it. <gasps> and I walk out of the bathroom. <laughs> I had no money, man. Hold on, hold on. So it's going through the towels. So like it doesn't, so it's always it? the moisture because you know when you spray mm. air fresh, it's, it's a, like it's wet. A, it's a makeshift yeah. filter, I guess. Yeah, exactly. exactly what I would do. I'm like, uh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the bathroom freaking out, dude? Wanna, How'd you I figure that out? Stand up. How you feel? So much higher. This is what I thought. Didn't we do this last time? I don't. Did it feel take some time? Any visuals? No. I feel very much in here. How many of those on it pills you took? Those on it pills? <laughs> <laughs> took two on it pills. No, I'm not there with you. You took literally seven times as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the tongue out loud. That's a point five alone right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm stu- like the smile is getting hard to. I like these. Yeah, I hi. can do this and go to an amusement park and be fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm scared to shit a roller coaster, so I don't I'm think it would help coaster. me. I'm talking about like Universal. And what would Walk you do? Around. I don't go to Universal. Oh, I get on like Transformers. That's not fast. It just takes you around. It's not okay, fast. Okay, yeah, at all. I'm in for that. Jurassic Park without the drop. I like Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah, I also, that drop. Also, why is it a water ride? Like, Jurassic Park. No, uh, I know. Okay. Really no water. okay. All right. There's not much water in Jurassic Park. You're not wrong. Why is it a water ride? That's a I'm good sorry. one. I didn't think about that. Me neither. I did not. Like maybe Why do it's, I maybe, just... maybe it's at the beginning now because it's like Jurassic World. And so it's like you they you you know, they it's like a giant Why do I always ocean picture dinosaur waterfall? Because I, I think water world and we're mixing it all up with Jurassic Park. No, but the, isn't Jurassic all... Park has waterfalls? There's some yeah. there's some water. The ones the, the, the waterfalls. 
I mean, the water in part three is a is a is a is a is big pool. There's not even rivers in that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I remember I a couple trucks going that. over a waterfall or some shit in part in the. No, first that's one. in part two when they're about to go off the cliff in the waterfall. You're right, and the Jurassic and the Jurassic Park, the T uh, <laughs> Rex is trying to get him off the side of the cliff. You're yeah, right, yeah. and he falls and almost breaks through the glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck that movie. I mean, there is the, there is that yeah. one like it's the shot like as they're flying up. It's the ones that uh, they shot. I think that in Maui. I think is what it is. Oh, the first one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. That's, that's, the that's one. why, because it's surrounded by water in that one. But it's not. Did even... we? Were we in a helicopter for that? Yeah, with that woman in the back seat thrown up. Uh, <laughs> Wait, did what I are you have to about? sit next to her? <laughs> 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 so we went to Maui once, and it was. Uh, oh, they're talking about Jurassic Park. Well, I was like, you guys, what did you just say? <laughs> well, yeah, so we, we just got back. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't tell you. Where is this? Yeah, we just got back from there. You never know. Yeah, we went on a it's, helicopter tour. slipped up. You're on mushrooms. We went on the oh, helicopter shit. tour and saw the, the, they took us to the waterfall that was filmed for in Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it was in Maui they filmed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like actually real. Um, and it was fun. So we went and we went. And the lady was puking. So, uh, mom, mom and I were in the front seat. The woman sitting next to me. <laughs> Dad was loan out in the back. And this woman for an hour in flight was no viciously <laughs> throwing up into a bucket bag. though. Yeah, into a bag, oh. viciously throwing. Up. Throw her out. And, and listen, what did you say? <laughs> throw her out. Throw her out. <laughs> throw her out. The dude is a trained skydiver. If he's got a parachute, she's good. She was <laughs> on her honeymoon with her husband. Where was he? He's right next, right to, next her. to her. She was in the middle of them. She was in the middle of them. It was terrible <laughs> because I was already nauseous. Mm. Now you got to listen to puke, uh, smell puke. You're basically covered there. in puke back there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, right. But I didn't puke. No, you did great. None of us did. I felt a little nauseous on it too. I, I, I don't really feel like I enjoyed it as much as I wanted to, but like, I, I don't know. I would maybe give it a second try, but I don't Yeah, think so. I agree with you. I think it would be one of those things where we got back in it and we were like, Remember when you for, you know when you forget why you don't like something mm-hmm. and okay. you have to do it again and you're like this is why I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is what a helicopter would be for both of us. But I just think with like I don't know. I'm not itching to get on one. No, me either. Wasn't a good experience in some way. I'm not a um I don't want to cool. die. I fall to my death. I'm not like but a real adrenaline guy at all. Yeah. I do drugs yeah, for that. Yeah. I agree with you. I'm good on roller coasters. I want to flip. I don't want to be next to a person while they're throwing up. Mm. As we're doing a flip, and I go, "Oh my god, I hope it works." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. It's so weird. I'm the same exact way. Oh, thank you. Heroin at 85. <laughs> Heroin we're 85. back to this. I'm shit. happy to do some drugs with you. I don't need. I'm not an adrenaline junkie. No bungee jumping. No skydiving. I'm good. I don't want to. I always I, say like, I want to skydive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. you want to do? Once, once, got to do it. You're strapped to somebody. You, you jump? Can, uh, I did that. I did jump off. There's uh, something in New Zealand called the Auckland. Like it's an Auckland Tower, so it's like their version of the Space Needle, essentially. You jumped uh, that far down. And so we were there, almost honestly, a year ago. No, maybe just a little over a year ago to the day we were there at the beginning of last year, and he had done it originally in 2019 when he went there by himself. You bungee jumped, dude. They had to push me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, they had. To, I was up there for a long time, <laughs> and finally the person hey. was like, "Are you gonna go?" And I was like, "I don't think I can. You're gonna have to push me." And she was oh, like, "Okay." Oh God. And <coughs> if they push you, you have to go off backwards. Oh. So they have to push you in the no, chest. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. That sounds so horrible. No. And, 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 and she walked up to him and went, "Ready? Okay. On three. One. Two." And yeah, just she pushed me on one. And then you went years later to the same place? He had been talking shit for four <laughs> you years. you didn't do it. Well, I wasn't there. Oh. He was there by himself. Remember when you didn't do it? Bitch. He, yeah. And he was like, and he was like, oh, I, I was did. just like, he owned, you won't do it, dude. And all, can I also, away. He, what did he say? He was up there for a cool minute. 37 minutes. 37 <laughs> minutes he was up there. Letting people pass you. No. no I was nobody was allowed to go bit. up. No one was allowed to go you up waited until the whole he went. I didn't know how long. It was like I was in flow state. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to get myself ready. Yo, dude, he went right up. he have been talking shit for four years. I had to do it. Not only did he jump, but with like 50 meters to go, he just locked eyes with me. 
and fucking went Superman. Get the fuck out of here. Like Seriously? An asshole. Are you you had the presence of mind like, like an something. I would have had a heart said. attack and shit myself. <laughs> It would have been like super embarrassing. He's coming down at you like fucking <laughs> dick one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I had to do it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it was great. I'm super happy. For I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm super happy for him. Super happy. For him. No, no. Yeah. It was amazing. Listen, I mean, one of my favorite things is is this part of our relationship. Like, uh, we mess around with each other at a level that people probably some. Are uncomfortable with <laughs> would get angry with, <laughs> but but would absolutely get angry with. But it it is what it is. Like it, it, we're family, and it's also like there's nothing. We him and I both really believe in like intent. Intent is really important. Yeah, of course. So like you know, understanding people's intent. So like not everything is to be taken as. Yeah, we like to right. fuck with each other. Yeah, that's fine. He fit, dude. Like, I really want to smack that joint out of his hand, but it's one you rolled, and I'm not going to do that, so. Dude, if it was one of mine, absolutely. I would have been like, Dude. Do you know what he did to me? Do you know? He, he, okay. <laughs> he, we, were, we, were, we were, we were in Chicago, and I, um, I was in the, I don't let him get his own hotel room, by the way. I fuck with him. I make him sleep with me every night. That's true. It's hilarious. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I name the tour? One room, two beds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's fun. The um, way you framed him, like you make him sleep in the same bed still. No, no. That's the God, way no. you framed him. With no. Fuck. Do you know what he did to me? I was in the bed area, and um, I had thrown away some underwear in the trash can in the bathroom. What? Yeah, it happens. Oh, he's not it happens. <laughs> you know what Just I mean? Casually. You know what? It's important to the story. <laughs> it's important to the story. <laughs> so he's in the bathroom. I just got out of the shower and um, I'm in the bed area and he goes, Hey, what? Why is there underwear in the trash can in here? And I was like, I had a blowout. <laughs> and he goes, What? I said, I had a blowout. And he goes, I don't know what you're saying to me. So I come around the corner to explain to him in my towel. I go, dude, I had a blowout. He was just filming the full fucking the thing. Whole fucking <laughs> hey, also, hold on. In your towel? On the- <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I- he oh. put it on Instagram, which wasn't yo, nice of him. Yo, uh, 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 in, my t- in, your, in your towel is an understatement. So he's one of those guys who likes to use a lot of towels when he showers. Guilty. A so, lot of towels. Okay. Here's my example. How? He uses a towel to wrap around his waist. Okay. A Where to- else? A towel he likes to have on his shoulders. What? And for some reason. <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. for some reason this weekend he decided to have a third towel for just his head. So when he it turned. It was cold out there. So, yeah, no, 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 you didn't wrap no, it. I didn't wrap no, it. when you turned the corner, he had all of that on. The third towel was wrapped over him and he looked like E.T. And he was just like. <laughs> He was like, I had a blowout. He's like holding his stuff right here. And I was like, yo, get the... What is happening over here? And then and then, probably a month and a half after that, he sent me a picture of him shitting himself again, but at his own house. Um, Wait, is this when you couldn't hop the fence? Is that what that means? Oh, no, you took a no, shit that in the newspaper. That was, that was Never a, mind. Yeah. Shoebox. 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 That was a co- this, this one, guys, guys, this one was this, last year. This podcast isn't about me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you the photo to put me. up. For the, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the photo still, man, so... <laughs> Every episode inevitably leads to yeah, some well, shit. Yeah, well, pants this time and got it. Damn it. <laughs> it's right, okay. So, hold on. Josh is the king of weird shit, right? Uh, and he, Did you see that thing that I posted today that somebody sent me? Well, I'm. About I'm getting, uh, that person wants him. He, he's an AI scientist. Yeah. Did you see that today? Yeah, was, that's well, one of my talking points here. Oh, I was going to bring something about that. I don't know what you're talking about, but go. I was just going to say. You're the king of weird shit. Is that where it like kind of tops your weird shit list when we get into things like this most recent post you can explain to the people? Tell me if I'm seeing it or saying it wrong. This dude put out an advertisement, right? Because he's an AI guy. He wants somebody to come over and fuck his robot. <laughs> he would do it. But... but- <laughs> 
Eve kind of feels like the robot's dad, and that would be weird. I think that would be weird is in the yeah. ad. Oh, really? I, maybe yeah, not. I, yeah. <laughs> maybe I, not. I, I, but, I he's, but he feels like the robot's father, <laughs> so can't go and fuck it. But I would like you to come and fuck it. Is it a <laughs> sex robot? I don't know what the end game is. I've seen too many <laughs> horror movies. This seems uh, like the bad thing. beginning. Right. Here's isn't my this, thing. Isn't this, isn't this El Machina? Right. Isn't this, this that movie? I've never no. seen it. I was just thinking Bicentennial, man. Like, like a Robin Williams robot. Are you finding this shit on Craigslist? Where did this come from? Uh, it looked like a Craigslist ad, <laughs> for sure. Like... But here's my thing. Somebody he, sent that one. He <laughs> obviously built it for that reason. Though. Has to, right? But then while building it, developed some sort of like connection or feeling. Uh, yeah. Instincts. But yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Which is the craziest that's thing. That's weird. Like, I can't. That's the weird that's part. That's the weird part. You know, the, the fact that. Banging so, the robot's the least weird part. I think the least about, about the situation. And the most 100%. weird part is that you see this, this, this AI as a robot and now you're paying some stranger to come have sex with it. Dude, because you don't need to pay any stranger. They'll just do it. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, right. just, just go to Craigslist with free yeah, sex with a robot. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's very vague, you know, honestly. Mm, nah. Doesn't need to be specific. Uh, yeah, I, don't think so. I, think creeps, I think somebody's coming over. I think somebody's coming over. All right, I got another one here. Okay. Uh, Is this, this from one, my page? Yeah, this is from your page. Jake, you want to. Thomas has severe back issues here. Yes, it's true. So. Man hospitalized after injecting semen into his own arm to cure his severe sudden onset back pain. I, I thought about that. that. <laughs> I thought about doing that too, I actually. See that one. I mean, if you can find the right that? vein, I think. What, that's what's the <laughs> He was crazy. twacked out when he did that. What's the science behind that? There is no science. Is My there, back's fucked up, and I never once thought. It's crack like, cocaine hmm. science. Yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. He's tripping. He's tripping. His back didn't even hurt. That's He's really tripping. a three step. How you think that part out? Because first of all, you have to believe that there's something in semen that heals what? Back pain. Back, Back pain. pain. Via the arm. Via the <laughs> arm. <laughs> Yeah, not even in the back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck He's is like, that? I didn't think about that. What the fuck? Yeah, really. I just also love the way you said it. <laughs> Via the arm. I also like, I like how you said that. That you think that's the weird part. I think the whole thing. All why? Of it's weird. Yeah, dude. Uh, no doubt, all of it's it weird. It sounds like some but dude <laughs> got fucked pretty good in the ass. Yeah, and he's like, my that back feels cured great. my <laughs> back, and my back felt great. <laughs> so, I just don't know. <laughs> Yeah, these he's like I think it's just make the, it more it's medical. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, but maybe maybe he's like yeah, maybe he's like maybe it's just maybe it's just the cum. I think so jizz is what made my back feel better. Is basically what he thought. But there's a lot of dumb. That's exactly what the story. I think you just tuned in. Right yeah, now. This, this that's basically. Crazy. This is that news. is basically. <laughs> yes. When I was a kid it, in our sex he, uh, health class, they actually brought it up because it was a thing going around in my town. <laughs> the fuck? Remember the skittles? Yeah. Girls were putting yellow Skittles in themselves as How birth come? control because yellow dye number whatever supposedly kills sperm because that's why they say Mountain Dew kills sperm. My town is stupid. It was a thing going around where the teacher had to say it in health class. And the highest pregnancy rate in America. It's the highest pregnancy rate. Goal. I guess these Skittles didn't work. <laughs> By the way. Stupid ass. Let me just say. I, I don't know how many people had to say that out loud, <laughs> but I feel so. Well, I guess these skills are working. Work. Highest team pregnancy <laughs> in the nation. <laughs> Whoa. Also, you know what touches our back fence in my school? Planned Parenthood. Free condoms and birth control. Yeah, but. Nobody's touching it, bro. But Skittles are a dollar out of the vending that's machine. True. <laughs> and you can eat some yeah, still. Yeah, that's right. So or you can eat I'll the, put uh, the yellow ones yeah, away for sex. Yellow ones. Yeah. And I'm going to smash the orange and red. <laughs> What These was there first? Was the high school there first or the plan? The plan period came after, but not even that. All these women, all these girls are like my age now. Mm -hmm. They're parents yeah. from the kids they had they in kids. high school. 34. Of the kids they had in high school. Yeah. How old 37. 37. I don't yeah. know how old you are. 26. I, I, oh, yeah. I'm about yeah? to be the age my dad was when he had me. I'm about to be 27. Oh, 20, 26 was a good year. Damn. I, I, think, it, I think it. Well, I'm about to be 27. 
I'll be 27 in March, and I'm about to be the how old he was when he had me. So it'll be. Uh, I think of Jacob. I think he was being like 19. So you're like perpetually 19 in my mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh. But I can't do that anymore because people are like, "You two sound exactly the same." Well, I don't think we sound the same. No, no, not at all. I don't you think we sound the voice. same, but we definitely have like similar same characters, mannerisms. Face, mannerisms. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the dude, way I'm, we talk. By the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely. Okay, I'm pretty high. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel it, but I like this one. This one made me feel like this. Yeah. Like you had a sleepover, you go, mm-hmm. and everybody starts laughing. That's how I feel like anything is going to be hilarious. To me. Your energy is so much better this time than last time. Last time was not fun. It was like a scary I went into experience. a hole yeah. last one and hoped everyone else was holding the conversation. Could have been three hours. I have no idea. Look at this guy's looking around at everything. Uh, <laughs> he's having some fun. Yeah, I'm just checking everything out real quick you know before some, I get back to that. Something the, that's really funny that Marty and I both couldn't get over. We had the Jake Johnson, the actor, on recently. Yeah, yeah. dude, great episode, by the way. Thank you. Uh, if I close my eyes or look away from the TV, I'm like, Josh is back. Oh, you yeah. guys sound, laugh, and have the same exact vibe, and it's the weirdest thing I've ever, because I know you. Yeah. And You're when like he was here, I was like, Lost Brothers. Jake, is this Josh? Remember we even said when he left, so Josh was here? I swear to God, <laughs> he was laughing, talking shit, saying the same shit, but he just doesn't like, doesn't do mushrooms So and now, shit. you got to go listen to the voice of Peter B. Parker and Spider-Verse. Your voice. And understand how close it is to your it's, own. It's odd. <laughs> And not even that in the live chat, Josh Wolf. Yeah, Josh Wolf. <laughs> in the live chat, everybody was like, "Is Josh Wolf?" No, Non-stop. promise you. The live chat stays up, so you can go look if you want. Flooded. I'm like, I agree. I agree. It's the it's the weirdest huh. thing because we you know when you, like, you, hear you meet a friend or somebody. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You remind me of my exactly like my fucking brother. You guys sound this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when it's yeah, like yeah, your yeah. dad, it's very odd. Ooh. I uh, that. think that's why Jake is so cool. I was like, you know, this guy's awesome. He, but, my, but exactly. no mushrooms. No. No. Does he smoke weed? I like that. On his own time, Fair probably. Enough. By the way. Possibly. Um, ooh, I need some of that. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> so slow. It's okay. Oh, I need it. I need to, I, just to get my shit together. Just here. <laughs> by all okay. means, I think you're doing fine right now. Last time you were, you were where I was. You no, were I swimming. feel pretty good, dude. You, you're <coughs> no. I'll get it way you, more than any I've ever seen you on mushrooms. I've seen you way higher on mushrooms. On mushrooms. <coughs> in my car, you were twenty times higher than this. Oh in my god, that car? was oh, that was yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the night. That was the first night he, he met, met his, my, your girlfriend. My, my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I know. He told me about it before, as he's getting out of my car. Hilarious, <laughs> super funny. <laughs> So yeah. no no, there's, there's the people I always call. You know who gets really high? Josh gets really high, and then you text me. This, well, this shit's legal here. I bought it now. I'm like fuck. That's how I found out about drugs <laughs> in Canada. You told me, dude. It's so crazy just to walk into the mushroom store and have them know so much. And that was the best thing about it. Mm-hmm. I was like, so this is exactly. I said this is exactly what I'm looking for for a high. This is about how much I'm gonna take. This is about. What I want to feel like, and she, did, did, it was like a weed store. That's, That's how what many I was imagining. different strains. Were they weird people working there? Like, oh, no, dude, she was the fucking coolest. Awesome. Yeah, and she was but, like, I know exactly, what, and that's why I grabbed some of the. Now I had taken some of the enigmas in mushroom form. Yes, in Indianapolis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the weirdest looking mushroom I've ever seen. It's the craziest looking mushroom. It doesn't look like one mushroom. It's like a bunch of mushrooms melded in one. It, it like and then it flattened out. Yeah, like, yeah. It's it like melted. a casserole. It was like a, a nug. Mush- it's we- yeah. it's it like a like nug. nug. It's a good way to put it. I was it. looking at it like the, the ones that we brought. Like it looked like looks nugs. crazy. I never it's seen a mushroom crazy. like that. I was gonna say pressed Parmesan cheese, but mm. a nug is probably <laughs> it's like nug, nug, odd like a, looking. Yeah, yeah, the way it has structure to it. Yeah, it's like a it's it's like a weird leafy nug. I don't know. It's hard uh, to describe. But I had never. I'll send you the picture. It's, 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 I had never eaten anything like it before. And the guy did. Goes. I'm so glad that you Googled it before. <laughs> because they were like, basically, don't eat what you usually eat. Mm-hmm. Oh, on those ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Which you try was, that one, though? I tried that one. I did not eat. I <clears throat> Usually, I'm like, fuck you. I'll eat what I want. You don't just dip your toe? 
not you. No. Yeah, you know me. I well, that. <laughs> I don't. No, do but that you're you're doing well. your you're taping. You're doing your special. Oh no, this was this was uh, Indianapolis. This yeah. was like a couple. Oh, that's of right, that's right. Sorry, you got him in Vancouver when you did your special. The these latest pills. Yes. When I did them though, like the actual mushroom, I did it in Indianapolis. It fucked me up, man. I think was didn't I have to leave the show the stage? No. When you were up there, was that one of the nights? No, no, no. I think you were good that night. But when we got when he got the mushrooms and the meet and greet, um, dude came up to me and he yeah, was Yeah, that like, sounds weird, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was in the meet and greet. But he came up to me and he was like, Hey, you ever heard of an enigma mushroom? And I said, No. He goes, Okay. Just so you know, I I, I gave your dad's quite possibly the strongest mushrooms you're going to ever have. And I then, don't know and about then, that. But, but like, if you took your strong. usual amount, which is close to three it, grams. It would have fucked me up pretty good, I think. Mm. He just said that to me, and the dude walked away. Mm. And then I never, we never saw him ever again. Mm. And then you sure took, you even saw him? Nah, yeah, dude. Know. No, I've heard from him online. <laughs> no, I, it, it, were, he's actually a fan of your show. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has, he had a store, like a... Maybe. So it's called Zoomers. You can walk in, like you say, like no, it's like a no, weed this store. This was in Indianapolis. Oh my god! Sorry, I keep going back to where you bought the shrooms. They have weed shroom stores in Indianapolis. Um, I didn't even know that. Like uh, uh, the packaging is fucking crazy, but I've never even seen it. Oh, it's it tra- that. Pa- oh, it's like it's it's black market. Got you. It's not like you can sell it at the store in Indianapolis. I there's no way. There's no maybe way. I was high when they he don't was even have weed. Man. I bet you he's sitting. Is that right? I don't think. I- I don't fucking know. I, I bet you he said he had a store. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I bet you he doesn't have a store, store front, but he has like a delivery service. Oh, where, like, he's, he's an illegal drug store. dealer with a number. Is what you're saying. Trapper. Bingo. Respect. Did you say Trevor? <laughs> Trapper. Trapper. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say Trevor's the name I give every drug dealer. Really? All right, Trevor. <laughs> really? yeah, I don't know why. So, which is unfortunate because it's my oldest son's name. Yeah, so I was gonna probably, say. and he's definitely not a drug dealer, so I should probably stop. When I do those jokes, I should probably uh-huh. think of a different name. Just say Tyler. Like hey, that Tyler's a good one too. But the question I have is back to when you're doing your special in Vancouver. You get the mushrooms. You say he was wrecked when he filmed one of them. You no, went on stage no. high during no. the special. No, 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 special. He never did. Oh, oh, I thought you were high during your special. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, Say damn no, dude. No, 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 damn no, dude. no, 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 no. See the edit back? He's just. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you my favorite part about this special? Yeah, what's it, it was, what's it called? I don't oh, know. Oh, you haven't yet. done it yet. Okay. My favorite part about this, and for real, is not the materials. If you like stories, it's great. Material. But I think, so I like, I think I'm a better comic, three, four hundred people. I like the, the, and I think that's a, on me on how I deliver things. I like the storytelling more in an intimate setting. I'd rather have you lean in than watch a screen. And, and now do I wish I could sell those? Yeah. But I think. For me, where I'm at my best, I think it's smaller. So as long as I'm paying for it, I'm not going to make it seem like I'm selling out yeah. 2500 This is how I do my shows, mm-hmm. right? So we had about probably 400 people. If that, maybe not. It's still a lot. Three, yeah, 300 people. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And I like the comedy club. I think comedy's better... Like this again, that's no, I'm not, I wish I could do the big, I can hear the comments online already, but yeah, I w- I'm, I'm into selling whatever I can fucking sell, but I think I'm at my best yeah. as long as I'm paying for this. Let's set yourself up to win. Yeah, dude. Right. We're, if you're filming me, I'm going to look the best when I'm telling an intimate story. Yeah. You don't want to take yourself out of your normal element so much. Where I think I'm my best, to. right? And so, up front, what comes with a venue like that, though, which we did it at a comedy club there, a great club, is that it's when you're at a theater, people are generally a little more well-behaved just walking into a theater. Okay. It's a different... Yeah, it's true. You feel different walking yeah. into a comedy club, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And plus... We didn't really advertise until a few days before and signs when you were walking in that I was filming a special. Mm. 
I didn't want it to. It just, I'm not sure why I didn't want to do that. So she had already gotten her tickets like way before. And so there was this woman up front that I had to throw out. And we've been trying to decide, like, do you leave that in or you take it out? And this is the whole point about why I filmed it in a place like that. I think I'm going to leave it in. What'd she do? She, because we were filming, she was just talking really loudly. And we had people come up to her a couple of times like, hey. And even I warned her. I was like, hey, if you keep talking full voice, (laughs) that's what I called it, full voice, (laughs) we're going to have to ask you to leave. And she apologized. She was just shit-faced. Oh, yeah. one of those. You kind of feel bad throwing them out. It's like you're very special. Like you're fucking I know. And I was like, you're here to have fun, but bitch. This is it. This is it. Yeah. And so finally I was like, hey, you got to go. And they had to walk her out. And she's, ha- she's hammered. So it took longer. Do you know what I'm saying? Just to get her up. First it was like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, one of those. And, and so she finally get up and the guy that she was with. And by the way. Canadians are so polite. Nobody said shit. They all you acted this, like they didn't see what was happening type of shit? Yeah, dude. They just let her leave and be a drunk person, which was fine. It took just took a while. And it was silent in the mm-hmm. room. And when I get the mic, I, I said something. And it got a little bit of a chuckle. And some guy screamed out, that this is so awkward <laughs> like that right <laughs> and you could feel like people felt and so i obviously got everybody back on my side and how far into the show is this feels like 15 minutes maybe right from uh, the start she was going hard oh she was she was going off while i was on stage and i went and told the staff and i was like hey before he gets up there, someone needs to go over and tell her to shut her mouth, because I'm not gonna like we're not doing that. Because on you this know what? Night. By the way, if it, if it wasn't the special, mm-hmm. then we just have fun and mess around. Yeah, yeah. but but no, it, 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 it was is, it was got a, a whole specific crew here night. for the shit. It yeah. was a specific <laughs> night. Gotta, it could gotta, be happening gotta, on gotta, this night, yeah, yeah. and she got a lot of chances. I, I will say they yep. they gave her for me too uh, plenty of chances and one. Big one for but me. We had to ask her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, and so it was awkward. And uh, like I said, I got the crowd back and went right back to the part of the joke mm-hmm. and had it work. And I think I'm going to leave all that mm. in. Mm-hmm. Did you, you just film one show? I filmed two. Might as well. I mean, I think it's more interesting to see. I don't think anyone's ever. I don't think I've seen that before. No. Leave it in. This I lady leaving. think I, now I'm, I'm not. I, I don't know if I'm going to leave the length of it in. It was really long. Yeah. That's frustrating. I'd be so pissed. Right. But, but I like her walking out was long. That whole song. But I think I'm going to leave it in because I don't think I've ever seen it left in for a special. And I I paid for this. But I'm putting it up yeah. on my YouTube page. Yeah. I can't decide if it's more interesting just to show the special, take her out, and then show that as a different At the end, credits clip or something. or something like that. Or leave it in. I think leaving it in is going to be the most surprising factor of it all. Like, it, wait, is this happening? Oh, this is real. It's not a bit. Oh shit, this bitch is drunk. I think. Also, the fucking your hat is so bright right now. It is insane. Mine? Actual sunset. Oh, that last second one caught me. The second one got me a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I'm yeah. I'm hot. I feel it. Like not in a trippy way, but your your hat is so bright. It's almost like it has a light behind it in my eyes. It is the <laughs> trippiest shit. These these colors I'm used to. I think is why. But the orange on his hat oh, is just going. Dude, I was beautiful. like. Yeah, there's words. <laughs> is that is that your wife's brand? What is what? Is That's, that your yes. wife's brand? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Lost all language there for a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, 
Yes, it is her brand. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, for real. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, we're both uh, we're both wearing. No one. shit. Oh, sick. Yeah, no, yeah. the hat's sick. And I was thinking, do you buy hats based on trippy color? Because I get it now. Why he buys all these crazy things at stores and mm-hmm. all across the country? Well, she's my my mom's got a bunch of different hats and beanies. Yeah, uh, sick, dude. Last yeah. time so he was bright. here, it was just coming out. Like I think oh, it was going to drop right. the I'm next also day. Also in her sweatpants. I think you're right. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, Oh, oh, sick! A gray pair of sweats. Oh, no shit! Right yeah. She just put out a movie last time we were here. That's too, what right? we. That's the last time I'm we were here. A, she put it out. That's dude, what happened. I'm actually I have her butt plug right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, what the fuck? Why are we Why? saying? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you just got to film a, a compilation of him saying things, walking in, toweled up like the blowout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make a compilation, but put the nice uh, YouTube music that's sentimental you know, over you know it. What, <laughs> Another one of my favorite things to do when out. we're on the road scare is the shit sometimes. Out of them. Well, it's not scare the shit out of them, but you know what? You know the showers that have like a handle as well that you can detach and like, yeah. yes, like right. You can change yes. it. Yeah. So I, when I, I always usually, oh, whenever I see it, I go shower before him, so I figure out how it works. And That's I know funny. what will and then happen. You leave it on. What's turn yep. it on? And so then when he goes, because I'm like, I know he's gonna pick this one because he's this, does. He's gonna be like, hey, can you come help me with this fucking shower? <laughs> And I'm gonna let him try it first, but so I've always I always angle the handle yep. right at the door or where he is, and I've gotten a whole bunch of times. I just haven't every gotten it time, on, yeah, haven't got it on tape yet, but it is fucking funny. You scared the shit out of me coming out of a bathroom the other day. Yep. Oh, I posted that. I one. saw yeah, that yeah, clip. That's I what did, I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, That's yeah, hilarious. I that one, <laughs> I, first of all, I, I just want to start because I think your mom would want me to say this out loud. She doesn't have a butt plug. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I think that was just for the joke. That was just for the joke. Yeah, but I think she would want me to say that. I think Most uh, people are like, why do you say that? Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> earlier. That's right. Yeah, yeah. For, I, but I just wanted to yeah. clear. I think you would have been fine. Yeah, just but she would have been mad at me if she had ever been like, "Did you say?" I'd have been like, "Nah, I should have gone back and made better." So. Yeah. No, so high five right <laughs> Why are you asking me for a high five for that? <laughs> you can see the drawback. No. I saw the side. You were fully committed. And that's what I actually, always want to support. Actually, you know? I'm, I'm, no. here. I'm here. I'm here. Moral support is important, you know? Yo, I feel almost not 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 jelly, but I feel very a little gooey. Pretty high. <sighs> a little gooey. I like it. This is cool. What, what, what time is it in the day that I feel like this? 5.30. Oh, perfect. 5.30? Oh, nice. dude, this is going to be amazing. Because, <laughs> by the way, I'm so glad you're driving. Now, this Me is too. A, this is coming out the day after the Super Bowl. Oh. Let's make a prediction right now. 49ers are going to win, and then all the memorabilia I have I'm trying to sell is going to sell for the high. Let's go. I have so much. Would you oh, be down to sell it? Dude. I want to get rid of it and try and buy my grandma's house, remember? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm reactively like, then I'm buy it. Then I'm pulling for the Niners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chiefs are going to have another one next yeah, year. It's so okay. I agree. I agree. He's got State Farm commercials. He's got every commercial. He's on like, NFL wants Patrick Mahomes to win. He's so good. He's just that good. Yeah, and also, I, want as, you be, as pa- I want you to be able to sell your shit. That too. And also, as Patriots fans, we want to see Patrick Mahomes stay far enough away from Brady's records as far as... You're a Patriots fan? Yeah, they're technically from Boston. I know, but you're born out here. He's born in the show. Yeah, but okay. It's just go... It's with the terror. I get it. I get it. Okay, so here's the story of how I found out we were diehard Boston fans. I knew we were Red Sox fans. And I knew... And, uh, you know, uh, that was just it, because I love baseball growing up. What's this face? And I knew we were Patriots fans. You guys are homies with Big Poppy in them, right? Right, but this was way way before anything. I just knew (laughs) what it was. And but uh, I wasn't a big basketball guy. But you know, I went to school one day and I won a three point contest at school. And what I win a Kobe jersey. Mm-hmm. So I wore the Kobe jersey back, back, back yeah. to the house. I wa- I walked home. We used to live Probably. literally right down the street. He used to watch me walk, literally watch me walk out of school. <laughs> Sick. Were you ever late? No. Oh, I was no, late. Was I lived across the street from my school. I was late every was every day. Just, I just literally walked down a hill. It's great. Yeah. And I came back wearing a Kobe jersey. He looked at me and he was like, I, what are you wearing? And I was like, I, I won this. I wanted a school. It's a Kobe jersey. He goes, right, okay. Um, and he wouldn't let me come in the house. <laughs> in Los <laughs> Angeles, California. And in LA, I had to take off the jersey oh, before I came in the house. Die so hard. East Coast. Took, took out the jersey. Took out the jersey. 
He showed me all the highlights. He showed me everything that I needed to Here's know. Here's all I'm saying. Josh, turn into the bouncer. You're going to have to go through me over my head. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Here's the deal. You can pick who you have sex with. You can pick who you vote for. You can pick, and you can, whatever you want to do. Who you marry. I don't give a fuck. But you you can pick who your sports teams are, and I don't mind. <laughs> like that. That's real. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, if he, what if he married a Laker? Or, a, or a, yeah, what you would call it? WNBA lady. That's funny. But she played for the opposing teams. That'd be Is that fine. okay? Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's the loophole. <laughs> there you he, go. he doesn't Man. even need one. I, 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 don't, I don't even. I, I don't need a loophole. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because it's hate LA mentality. Why? It always has been since that day. It's 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 beat LA. I mean, it's, it's, it's activated it's, inside yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, Can I tell you? Oh. I gave, wait, hold on. I, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. I gave that Kobe jersey to my dog. He ripped it up. We bought a get. We bought a Garnett jersey the very next day. What? You guys are behind enemy mm. lines. <laughs> you guys are literally yo, lost. Yo, going, my, it, my no eighth, a Lakers. Uh, my eighth grade year, I went to I went to school. For Halloween, just as a dead Celtic fan, and everybody loved me. It was, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah, like I just I, people were like, "This is the best costume," and I was like, "Can I tell you something though?" As like I've a gotten older, Celtic fan? no, just like a just like a dude who got beat up in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> as I've gotten older, I don't actually care. I shouldn't. You say realize care. you don't care as much. You're just like I used to like it. Yo, dude, I'll tell you something right now. I'm a or should say, have always been a diehard Thank you, sir. Jesus. Boston Red Sox fan, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is how far I've come on sports. And this is the truth. And, and one of my buddies is working there now. And, but, like, here's where I, where I am with sports is I'm, uh, as a fan, I want to root for my home team. But if they're not trying to win... I'm not, you know, you. I'm not like a diehard. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. I'm not a diehard at all. I, I watched I'm one football game anymore. this year. I'm like, you know, I used to care. I used to watch every Sunday. Now I'm like, no, I'm not. I hope you win. Anymore. I'll watch the highlights, maybe. That's exactly where I'm at right no. now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not watching the regular season. If you make it to the playoffs, I'll tune in. I'm, I'm just still, over it, dude. Yeah, too I'm much time it commitment. Too. Yeah. Like like every Sunday, I gotta get up and watch these fools. And but also, for me, it used to be basketball, baseball. Oh, so you're all year hockey, round. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was we everything. would switch from season to season in the boss. household. I yeah, appreciate every everybody's nice messages and condolences and shit. It's exhausting. The bills are just the bills, man. It's okay. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's okay. It's coming to the <laughs> point where I don't, I, I don't even hit Marty up after the loss. I'm like, he hit me up when he recovered. Hey, can I ask you how He's you? Okay. Because you, how old are you? You said 30, 37. Yeah. Oh, so I would have been full of crazed. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you and I was screaming dude, in the living room. I would have been full crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, I. I how got, are you? It's, it's just how it are is. you? It's just, honestly, it's just I'm normal. Understand. Yeah, it's just normal. I've had how I've had you? all the expectation beaten out of me at this point. Yeah. So when it happens, I'm just like, of course. No, when you watch a game. Yeah, I'm kind of dead inside. Like two <laughs> years ago, I was still alive, but I died somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm kind of uh, like I don't get all emotional oh, and shit. I, I hope this. If, if, if anything, like, I, I was I'm rooting for the Bills when it Thank comes you. to the playoffs. I felt like, like the world was rooting we, for us. 100%. We we always That's are. Why like, I'm we see the Bills in there. I'm like, like yeah. I'm with the yeah. Bills. Well, Josh like, texts me and shit. I appreciate that. I would that. love. I, like, I would love to see you, the dude. Bills win. Everybody Fuck the would Dolphins. Love it. Right. Thank I you. would love to see the Bills. As diehard football players, I mean football fans, you guys like football. So did I. I think Tom Brady is the best quarterback of all time. Also a cheater. How do you guys feel? Uh, Just because uh, the water boy's a cheater uh, doesn't uh, that's uh, how I feel. Like it's okay. On which occasion? I think once you grip a ball and go, it's a little flat. I should say something, like, mm, but you didn't. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> so little, just a one. Even one play. I'm like, hey, wait. You're the wait, best. Wait, I, 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 go ahead. You're the best. He's the best. He didn't need to cheat, I think. Right, that's why they switched the ball out. I have no idea. I've only seen the thing on ESPN. Like, that's it? He got cheated. He's only a couple games out? It was It was the first half. They switched the ball out the second half. He scored more points with the correct ball. Hey, can I tell you something else? Oh, can I tell you that's how why far, people defend it. Can I tell you how far? I've, I don't even remember this. I mean, I remember I don't the know story. I don't know the details. Deflate it? 
I don't. This is how oh, far I, re- I remember. This is how, I remember. This is how far away I am from care, really caring about sports. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, I remember time. Deflategate, and I think I was, that's the last I cared. It's like for what? I see my friends just ah scream at the team. I'm like, bro. He's like, we gotta win. I'm like, oh, you get paid? Yeah, yeah. They gotta I win. Can't Why are you so sad? Yo, dude, we used to scream at the. Oh, me too, oh, dude. Dude, when the Sox were in the World Series in 2013 and in 2018, oh my goodness. In 18? 18, yeah, we won the World Series in 2018. I know, I know, I know. Where where were we at? What house? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh ooh, uh, Encino? No, I think I met you in 2018. You are in Hollywood. What was that? I only met you guys at the two, like, where you drive in past a house and you guys have like a shared driveway out. We have like your own parking, but it's like a shared. Where I met you the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, tall. That was West Hollywood. Tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was West Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was West Hollywood. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so no desire to move back to LA? Can no. I help you where you're at? No, no man. I, 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you first. You first. I'm sorry. Um, I miss I miss like my people like I miss my friends you know, um, but Vegas is awesome. There's there's it's it's quiet, <laughs> it's cheaper, it's it's, it's not it's, too ungodly unbearable hot. You know what's crazy is it? like a hundred twelve for three months straight feels not as hot as like a hundred and five here. No, Mercedes can be one twenty, but I was in Vegas at one ten. Like it's fine. It's not Reset that. Reset is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive heat stroke. Like, yeah, don't get me yeah. wrong. It's hot. But oh, it's, it's so really hot. not Car that bad. to building to building to car. Yeah. This thing, you nobody stay inside with AC. You don't like, walk. You don't ride mm-hmm. bikes. You're a tweaker out there. No. <laughs> David Letterman in Waterworld. Mm-hmm. And that's who lives outside in Vegas. For in like August and September. Fuck yeah. You just don't. Mm-hmm. You make Plan it to accordingly. The, but here's the thing: no matter That's where it. you live, except maybe San Diego, oh L.A. Actually, you're gonna have, there's gonna be a couple months of weather, whatever type of weather, mm-hmm. where you're gonna be like, I don't fucking like this. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. I just choose the extreme heat. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd rather have extreme heat than yeah, extreme dude, cold for sure. Fuck yeah, yeah, that's for damn sure. You know what I'm saying? We both lived in that. I would take the desert over the tundra any day of the week. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Oh, see, I don't know. I've, it's opposites because I grew up in Because you're death. like, oh, the heat sucks, but it's way different than I'm buried in snow and I can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's can't get out completely of the house. different. <laughs> I'm stuck in this house mm-hmm. with these people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For real. You that know, I think I'd take the desert. I'm taking, I'm taking extreme heat. We did it. We're doing it right now. We took, took extreme it. heat. <laughs> We're yeah. doing it now. We literally did <laughs> We are. I followed you. Yeah. I've never liked it. Anywhere more in my entire life. That is well, that's awesome. awesome. Me either. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, I got off the. I text you. I got off the plane in mm-hmm. Vegas, and I look, and I was literally. You text me, and I saw your text. I look left, and there's your fucking face at the airport. Oh and then yeah. Then it said Jimmy Kimmel live, or I said so, like I don't. I didn't read oh, everything. I just saw your right. face. That's right. I'm like no shit. Yeah, we missed like you guys seconds. Running. Off yeah. of my flight. It's amazing. It was fucking cool, dude. That's super cool. Cool. It was very cool to see. We uh, we do a show there every Monday night. It's super dope. Except for, is tonight Monday? Yeah, except today. Wait. Today is oh, Monday. Oh, shit, today is Monday. Remember except that's, today. Yeah, yeah. Is tonight <laughs> Monday? <laughs> yeah. One day a week? Yeah. He has to be in <laughs> Wait. No, this, that, that, today is Monday. That's specifically actually why we're here. It's because yeah. it is Monday. No, but it is Monday. Correct, correct, is, correct, yeah. correct. <laughs> you know, the good thing about Vegas is you can come over here, get high as shit, do a show, fly back in 45 minutes and still go. Like, it's too cool, man. It really is too cool. We have, have we flown in and out on the same day? I think we have. It's so epic. We have before, but we haven't the last two, the last times, the last two times. Today, this time we're not, and last time, last time we were supposed to, but oh, that's right. But we got. I uh, talked too much. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. missed our flight, and we were in a meeting. <laughs> but and he was just like, "Dude, but turn out." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it was, it was, it was all right. uh, totally worth it. 
Yeah. Oh, wait. I saw you guys have a post. Like, go to a meet. I did see that. Yeah. Good shit. Don't I know we'll talk about it later, but. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Whatever it is, you guys both look excited. <laughs> That's all I remember. You guys both look excited. You look Dude, so way, fucked up. Right now? <laughs> you, it's the, I know it's when the laugh and your eyes do the... Oh, I'm, I, I've I'm, been around you a lot on drugs. So I, I know your high face. I'm super high. <laughs> yeah. You look it's, good. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, no, he's wearing hey. it well. How am I doing? Great. Yeah, yeah, I know I, when you're high, though, because oh. you did this. Dude. You had the joint. All the ash fell right here. You looked at it and it went... And asked nothing. Hilarious. Oh, shit. He is <laughs> That's <dust>. fucking. <laughs> and it was that one. I was like, this guy's fucked up. Toasted. What, what, what did I do? Fucking. Oh, shit. Fucking you went like toasted. This. The ash fell. You looked at the ash. You went. And you asked nothing over here. <laughs> it was hilarious. Bro. I watched it Toasted. Earlier. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. Oh, yeah. But that. I'll send that to you anytime you guys want. At any time. We have so many strains, man. Just came out. Really, it smells. It's so THCA. Good. I took a bong rip of it, bro. It it's just gasp. weed. That's legal loophole. That's all this is. It's all that's happening. It's our brand, dude. We have so any strain we want to go yeah. find, we can go find it. Can, can I, I just usually, tell you, I legal usually, loophole is a great name for a brand. For legal sure. loophole, it's great. So legal sick. Loophole. It's a legal like loophole. That. We that's have to awesome. run it until it's not legal. That's and then awesome. we're done. So. Yeah, it really does smell. It's just it's, many, right, uh, it's from a farm. It's like How many a strains are cracking right we, now? We do. We're, we're dropping like twenty five more. Oh gosh! So this Jesus. is what it is. Look, it's a str- it's a farm. Right, you go to a grow a grow farm. Yeah. And they go, hey, this is weed. And go, yeah, I know. Like we want a THCA. All right, well, let's go to our hemp farm where we grow weed. It has to be on a hemp farm, CBD farm. It has to be, mm-hmm. but you can grow THC strains there. And then you go, hey, we're gonna cut it down a little early, test it before it matures into THC. It's still THCA. So it's like I describe it as when they ship tomatoes are green and when they get to the store they're turning red. It's like they mature and they ripen. It's amazing. Right? So once you test it and go, here's my COA officer, government, like, all right, it's legal. In three days it might turn convert to THC. Oh, you said it's legal. Like, yeah, we did. We'll change that law soon. Like, <laughs> two more years. I right, won't get you in two years. That's basically what THCA is right now. Like, yeah, you're shipping weed. Like, I know. And you're taking my money legally in the bank. Fuck, I just paid my taxes. I want it's crazy. You. That's awesome. It's crazy, dude. I want you to know. <laughs> what? That for about half of that story, you were in like a little... S- Sailboat for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> You're slightly teary. <laughs> I was like, I know so this isn't real. <coughs> You're getting visuals now? Oh, yeah, yeah. You took literally six to seven times. You're, you're crying. Oh, that was so <laughs> fucking funny. A sailboat? <laughs> a little sailboat. <laughs> like a little... <laughs> <laughs> I've only you had a few are people's crying. faces. I've only had a few oh, people's faces mesh amazing. away. So yeah. I've never seen people turn into objects. That sounds so fun. It's like, like was he was he shrunk down in the boat or was, was it just like my head boat? like on Gushers commercials? <laughs> just my head. That's a boat. Was it like a green screen or like? <laughs> or did I shrink and I'm gone? You just hear my voice out of a boat. That sounds Hold awesome. On. It's so hard to explain what just happened. All right. I love that. Hey, everybody. You're back? <laughs> you back on Earth? No, I don't think the answer is. Uh, he's almost. He's tethered. Something. He's not fully gone. <sighs> all right. All right, we're all going to go drive. Let's go. Dude, that was I bananas. Got it. I got it. Get in the car. Right. That bad? I got it. Get in the car. <laughs> that was bananas. That's cool. That I've never great. seen anybody change it. It's just blur and where their face is melted away. No. Like <laughs> okay, so here. I've seen that. That was so weird. I'm like, maybe not. Maybe it was like a boat, but is that what I said? You boat, said a little sailboat. boat, sailboat. You said sailboat. I'm thinking the little boat behind the Simpsons in their house, right behind the little boat and the Simpsons behind their couch. That That's not imagining really what you saw. Bananas to explain. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Oh, dude, I've been I've been out of my body, been, so been don't there. worry. Fucking been there, absolutely. Yeah. yeah Have yeah. you been out of your body? Before off the shrooms? Like, were you looking down watching oh, yourself yeah, move? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
such a weird feeling. I don't like it. Oh, like, yeah. oh, am I dying? Oh, no, I'm not dying. I'm just tripping. Don't die. No, I don't like that. I don't like It's happened to me twice. Yeah. And when I move my hand, I can see my hand move. Don't mm-hmm. like it. It's uh, like you're like someone took you out of your body and went, just watch mm-hmm. what you do on mm-hmm. autopilot. I don't like it. No. Nope. Creepy. Only happened one time. Yeah. Was it in public? Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know. We talked to Ralph Barboza, right? Mm-hmm. Comedian. That might have freaked me out in public. Of course. You're going to get lost and watch your. Oh it's like pressing select on Grand Theft Auto and watching your character just go. The most terrifying thing I ever heard or considered Holy was shit, going dude. hotel door to hotel door, fucking not knowing what yeah. you're doing. Dude, <laughs> so What's that? We had Ralph Barboza on here. And he, ate tw- he eats mushrooms like a fucking monster. Did you know this? Mm-hmm. The comedian, he talked about his 12 gram trip where he, him and his homies, they took 12 fucking grams. And he like basically lost his mind in a hotel. Started going door to door, knocking on Is everyone's on door. Yeah. yeah, don't tell me. Oh, that. Then you just gotta watch it. It's terrifying. It's scary. It's so scary. It sounds like it sounds like purgatory. But he's like, then now he's playing the game of oh, like he's kind of realizing it. Like fuck, are the cops coming? Shit, is, is the someone had to call the cops on me. Uh, am I Imagine being tripping that now? hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the outer body yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you start to get that slime, that grime on you, you feel very like, Ugh. That's crazy. I don't like taking that much shrooms where I can't control my body. Then I'm uh, just, it's not even me anymore. The most I've taken at one point is four grams, but I did, however, take probably like, I'm, I don't know, I think it was three hits of acid at once. At With the shrooms? No, 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 just of, of, of acid. Oh, just on oh, a completely oh, separate different, occasion. Different. Yeah. I'll do yeah, that yeah, acid. Yeah. Do you do acid? Yeah. I think it was three. Not anymore. I wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't do yeah. them now. I do it acid now. Oh, okay. But you used to dabble. A little bit. I like acid. And, and I think the last you, time... You're the one that told me about how you, it was fucking awesome. I like acid. Yeah. I think the last time I did even a little bit was with you. With me in Portland. In Portland. Really? We split a tab and just walked around. Uh, See, I want to get high enough to where I could still walk and do shit. That sounds awesome. Oh, dude. I'm going to tell you right now. It, I get disabil- like dis- disability high. I was swimming in my carpet, <laughs> like trying to think of my own name and shit. It's not yeah. fun. It's not a good look. Disoriented. Uh, oh, it's I, bad. I, I don't know. Fuck I feel a, like I feel like you yeah. could still Dude. you yeah. could still be that up and sounds. active off a tab. But if you want, like half a tab is great. Half a tab was like you remember your conversations troops. and stuff. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. For it, sure. I remember everything. Oh, we did. I heard you can control it more too. Yeah, one hundred percent. You control. Yeah. It. Don't get me wrong. It's still half a tab of acid. Oh, well, you're it's, high. You're gonna be hot. But, but like it's not like overwhelming. Like but it's it's fun. It's fun for sure. If but you're just talking to a regular person, do they know? A regular person. <laughs> I mean, if people a sober guy. I mean, look again. Don't Who's a regular person? A, a, a worker. A waitress. I mean, look. Acid does crazy things to your eyes. Are black. That dude knew we were on something at that restaurant we used to go to. <laughs> oh, the one we sat down at. Yeah. 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 What? No, I, I remember what his name was or what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking. Yeah, I remember that. What happened? <laughs> I, I remember the incident, but I don't remember what happened. That's, uh, that was good. Give it to you straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember his name, situation, or the place. I love it. What city? Wait, so he only knew because you guys go often. It was, it was, like, today, you guys are on drugs. Oh, I can wait. see it. It was Portland. That's why Portland's I remember it. Sick. Portland I love is Portland. sick. I love Portland. It's a cool spot. Why were we talking about Portland? Acid, half a tab each. And you're at a restaurant. And he's like, the guy must have known oh, we dude, were on where acid. Where the... Is it the <sighs> coffee shop? Where we eat the pork belly. Oh, 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 that's right. There was a, there was a, there's a hotel in downtown Portland that has a restaurant up at the top of it. Um, and it's got like this crazy view of everything you can see. And the first time we that's went to it, it was yeah. Uh, I can see it. What did you say? Oh, bad time. It means I'm about to get higher. I saw it. See I, a change. Just yeah, like the and they, they make this crazy, just like uh, seared pork belly dish at this restaurant. And the uh, the bartender was the same dude we had seen the year before. He came back up and he was like. Good to see you again. And I was like, oh, no shit. You're still here. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, like, that's my job. <laughs> yeah. He was like, he was like, yeah, I like it here. I was like, yeah, no, no judgment. I was just like, good, cool to see you. What's up? <laughs> so, but yeah, then we just sat and we had, but he asked us, yeah. uh, 
Because that first year I wasn't eating because I was kind of... Was it the first year or second year that I had tried the acid, which is why I wasn't... Second year you tried the acid. And, but it, by the way, the top of the restaurant, best pork belly of all time. It's... Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had anything better. It's like the minute you take a bite out of it, it's... It's vanishes. Well, it's yeah, just like yeah, melts. It vanishes. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, the best pork belly of all time. It's just like eight pieces of delicious. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. Let me ask you something. It's just a. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's you're tapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just forgot. Yes. Um. Uh, com- that fucking honestly, that was like a reset button. Like a <laughs> <laughs> it really wasn't a butt plug; it's a vibrator that he has. He said, and that's what just woke it back. <laughs> How crazy would that be if, like, oh shit, oh if, if, I, if I knew I was going out, so like I put a, a butt plug in my. Just to wake me up yeah. like every six hours. Like an alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're on your phone too, but if, if you uh, want to go that no, way. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. People sleep through the regular alarm. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Some people sleep through that one. You never know. I can see on your face, or maybe I'm just getting higher, that you're getting higher by the minute. No, no, I'm back. <laughs> okay, because for a minute, I can see the eyes that went like, no, I'm actually, I'm back. So are you guys doing sets while you're in town? May 9th is our, um, we're doing a show at the Netflix special. Yeah, for, mm-hmm. in LA. But are you guys going to do anything while you're in town now? Not. Nah, no. When are you guys, when are you going to go home? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. You guys just chill for the, you just can't even do, get the good weather. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then, but tomorrow we're doing Radio Row if he wants to do it. Radio this, Row, what's that? For Super Bowl, like, uh, my buddy Craig Gass. You guys know Craig? No. Craig's a fucking best, dude. But Craig um, is getting me a pass to walk up and down. You know, for the Super Bowl, every press station is... Oh, one of those, like Radio Row. Gotcha yeah, like now. a Radio Row. Right? But it's probably it's probably a lot of podcasters now, I would Yes, well, it's a big you part guess? of media. Yeah, I would think. Do you so. do like interviews and shit? I've never done it before. Mm. I've never been. I don't know if I've ever lived in a city where they've been doing it. Maybe I have no idea. Mm. I've definitely never been asked to do it. Maybe that's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my city does it. <laughs> but, it's but, Los Angeles, but nobody. But you know what I mean? I don't know how many Super Bowls they've hosted here. No, it's in Vegas. Super Bowls in Vegas. This is what I'm saying. Like, why I haven't definitely haven't. Oh, why you haven't seen it here? Right. Yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you the last Super Bowl in. They LA. just had one recently. It was like the last two years ago, right? But that was the first was one in like 40 years. I feel. Was it the one that the Rams won? Yes. Yeah, that is the one the Rams won. Yeah, right? of course. Chocolate. Went at home and shit. Oh. Um, but yeah, yeah. But that's like, how much I. But yeah, I think before that, it had been a cool, it had been a long time. So yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I haven't followed sports since Brett Favre was popping. Pills. You <laughs> I hate you, Marty. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Love it. I was going to say, since Fuck Michael Vick was killing it, but you probably was a dog. Take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> this is the horrible things with Hall of Famers. You know, since I'm just going to stop. You were so quick, too. Like, it was right after. No, our no show, it's like our he writes f- lyrics or something. No, we got a personal <laughs> vendetta against Brad Fire. So he's he a dickhead. Really gets it. Mm. He's my favorite football player. He dissed the shit out of me. I've talked to him many times. And he he's stole an from all those kids. And then he just recently stole 12, what was it, 8 million? 12 yeah, or 8 million dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for like a, from the uh, welfare the Department what? of Mississippi, him and the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, are both getting in trouble for embezzling money from the Mississippi State Welfare Department. Brett Favre can't fucking hit a person on a cross route. And this motherfucker's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop throwing picks and I'm going to go pick one for myself with Ted DiBiase, but we're going to get caught. He, he built a volleyball court. 
Darcy. For his daughter's team. Yeah. Like, Stole yo, out of the welfare fund. <laughs> from the welfare department. They're, you're so goddamn rich. He's got so much money. <laughs> Come on, something about Mary. He had to get paid for those couple lines, right? He's probably living off of something about Mary money, man. Right. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Fuck Brett Favre. Um, back to what we were saying. <laughs> No idea. No, I feel, I feel better about that. Ooh, I like these shrooms, <laughs> man. <laughs> like these. These are great. These are fun. So, Jake, what's best By case scenario? What's the next you, uh, couple of do they the rest of the year look like pills. for you as a comedian? Mellow. Floaty, right? The rest of the right? year for yeah, me like as a comedian is just, it's just improving, I think. Like, uh, like I, I have this, I think, really solid like 12, 13 minutes that I really like. Um, and then I've... Uh, until like two months ago, uh, I felt like was missing a lot of things. But you know, uh, being with him, of course, every weekend on the road or at home, like helping me craft it and and make it tighter and develop it to make it you know yeah. as as best as it can be. It still needs a little bit of chopping because there's just some things that don't need to be in there. Yeah, dude. But but the the rest of this year just looks like putting in work. I started doing open mics and. I literally the, the second one I did, I was like, I'm just gonna go up there and do five mm-hmm. minutes of things I've never tried before. Ever. Love it. It's getting I uncomfortable. Just, yeah. I just had a I have a I had a folder on my phone that says joke ideas. And so I just picked two. Mm-hmm. And one of them was the very first thing that I ever wrote down in there. Um and and the other was just like a story I had technically told like on stage before with him in a Q and A. But and I was like, it was kind of funny, <laughs> but it, it's not like a complete Story, right? There was no mm-hmm. end. But well, you're still yeah. searching for that shit. Though. Yeah, yeah. There was you no need end. a way to close it. And right. And so I did it. I just walked up and I just did the five minutes of that. And I liked, I mean, it was great to do both of them and to just try something that, mm-hmm. you know, it's an open mic. Pretty much. Yeah. And it was, it was it, really fun to try that. Do most comedians write jokes verbatim like a song? Or are they going up with an idea and kind of just like freestyling most of it? For me, I write down the idea. And then, like, I talk about it and just see where my brain has gone with it. And then I like to, I like to say it out loud to him, and then we just kind of go back and forth yeah. with the idea. I don't really know that I have ever in the past written... Oh, I've been doing it for so long. Like, which... Like how you'd have a songbook if you're a rapper. Like, you don't At have... At one point in time, 100%. Yeah. A hundred percent. How do you not forget? I, uh, you write down the premise idea because, dude, you're high. I'm high. I write down single words and two weeks later go, well, beca- why do you think I remember? What the because fuck that I write better on stage. And so uh, I just record everything. Oh, so you record. That's the thing. But how do you remember everything? You spit man. Yeah, really you're cool. high as shit. I mean, you know, yeah. every, every set's recorded. Josh was one that's of the different. first comedians to take control of video and clips, and he surpassed people on YouTube before they even realized what the fuck was going on. And Facebook. Yes. Yeah, crush yeah, it. Facebook, yeah. Crush yeah. it on there. You, 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 you might be the king of Facebook. Yes, <laughs> for sure. For sure, dude. dude Not no, gonna lie, Facebook no. is nuts. <laughs> no. But then again, dude, you tell very fun stories, and all the earth since fucking fires and lived outside just told stories. Mm-hmm. It's the most entertaining thing on the fucking in the world. You know what I mean? Well, Movies are you, here dude. for a reason, mm-hmm. and that's thank why. You. If you can tell a good story, I, exactly, you're fucking locked in, and then mm-hmm. you're funny, and then you know how to do it. And you've been doing it for the. Oh, that's easy. There's a formula you have now, and now it's just like. I know how to. That's what you say. I work it out on stage. I will yeah. tell you, dude. That's scary. That's, you know what I mean for yeah. everybody. It's for but sure. it's it, uh, and to my the people who follow me. Right now, I think we're going through a little bit of a. They were so used to for so long all of my stories being about my kids, but they're older now. Yeah. So. I'm doing less kid stuff. I mean, I, I am telling that story about him seeing somebody get shot. I've told, I think I've told you that story before. No, never saw that story before. I'm I've never of me seeing someone get shot while we were in Cleveland, and I was eighteen. Nope. Are you sure? For real? Positive. I've never heard. This never story. heard the story. No way. All right, we should probably tell the story real quick. I, I think. Well, should look, we? man. I was. We were high and. Okay, uh, I can tell it if you want. No, okay. So, <laughs> but but stop me if I'm too high to tell. 
I'll fill in on spots I need Got you. to. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Because I want you to know. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Just go ahead and try. And we'll make it happen. <laughs> you okay. started yet? First of all, remind me what story we're telling. <laughs> oh, shit. Just quick. I'll... Just I'll tell please. the story. Someone just blasted Cleveland. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So the night before, um, we're in the hotel room, and I had ordered a quesadilla. Right? We both ordered a quesadilla. Yeah, and they had served the quesadillas with Caesar salad dressing, and we. Were, I was just like, "Well, we're not gonna." But it was like it was insane, and the quesadillas also had like corn, tomato, like a bunch of other extra shit in it. I was like, it was a wrap. It was a it was a poorly folded wrap. Okay, like it was trash. Okay, so I was the next night. We're going up to the (coughs) hotel room, and I was like, "Hey, dude, we're both high again." And I was like, "Hey, we're not doing the quesadilla." Quesadilla. That was a fucking mistake. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> go downstairs. There was like a taco stand right across the street. Go downstairs and get us some tacos. And he was like, okay. So I'm pretty high. He's, we're both pretty high. And so I'm laying in bed and I just hear a pa 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 pa. Pa pa pa. And I was like, those are gunshots. Those are right where the taco stand is. Right below the window where he's supposed to get the tacos. So I call him on the phone. No answer. Oof. And I was like, this is a really bad time to be high. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is not the best time to be high. So I walk over to the window. I look out the window. There was a body in the alley. Obviously not him. And uh, the person was not dead. But they had been shot up. And uh, so I call him again. And I'm like, dude. What the fuck? He goes, hey. He goes, hey. Get up here. He goes, I just saw something. Hurry up. And he goes, Well, I'm waiting for the food. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I was like, What? And he goes, Well, they're not going to come back and shoot him again, are they? And I was like, I feel like that's valid. No. 100% with you. Isn't it? I, I would have been with you. That was yeah. the safest place in the city. That's what he 100%. was like. He was like, I think they're about I'm in to be a bunch of cops. Like, city. yeah. And also, my high ass decided eventually, actually, before I got down there, decided against the taco stand. And I went inside to the bar that it was right out for, like right next to. So there was just like bar food. And I sat there for a little bit. I was going to pay for our food. I heard all everything go off, right? And our phone call. And about five minutes after the phone call, a dude who's running the takeout is like, hey, we're going to close for the night. Um, do you want, and we're going to refund all these orders. Do you want your food and like six other bags of free food? And I was like, well, yes. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. As you step and over the shop, man. I'm six, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, it, the person who was shot, who, who was um, alive, was right in the shoulder, right? We had spoken to her earlier. A lady got shot? <laughs> like a attempted murder? Or she got drive by it on. It was a drive by. I think it, uh, it was somebody who fired into a crowd because, like, when I went to, when I was in the bar, yeah, I but saw he had died down the. Yeah, 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 got hit and ran down. Yeah, I saw the dude. I saw the dude too. Ran down the alley after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> sorry. What a lady got shot in the shoulder because somebody I, was shooting into a crowd and yeah. popped her. Cleveland's grimy. What a dick. Yeah, it was it sure, was crazy. Dude. To shoot to a crowd of somebody is nuts. But I don't. Th- it was uh, like no, it wasn't late somebody. Yeah, 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 it was somebody. It, wasn't it was like, like into designated. A crowd. It was designated for someone, but he just happened to be a shit ne- shot near a bunch of people. 
Mm. Oh, that guy got shot too? So yeah, yeah. I, when, after all that happened, like I saw uh, when I was in the bar, just two people. Run, Who's that guy? Run down the alley. Some random dude. And just like running away. <laughs> but, What's yeah, his name? Yeah, two of them yeah. both <laughs> of the same color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, like, he. I did see a dude get arrested. Somebody did run, but they that person did die. Yeah, I did see someone. I, I got saw, I saw somebody get arrested and get oh. like put in the cop car at the site uh, like on the street. That's sad. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, I would have been like, yo, I'm going to get the food first. What the fuck? I'm going to come back down That's here. what I did. That's funny. I would have said the same and shit. If like, I, you didn't come back? And I came I up back. with, like, $200 worth of food. Because <laughs> everybody it. else ran Someone's away. Demise. <laughs> Scared ass, hungry motherfuckers. <laughs> you guys are bitches. <laughs> Bitch, you guys are, you guys are bitches. <laughs> so they had all this food for him. He came up with, like, eight bags of food. I was like, Jesus. The craziest Jesus. thing is the guys at the Run. bar, even though someone's shots, like, to go home early, hell yeah! That's yeah. the saddest part. It's full of, oh, there's ladies on the ground. I'm like, damn, you get off work early and get free food while I'm getting into an ambulance. <laughs> I talked to Jake earlier. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Dude. That was nuts. It was nuts. Well, bananas, right? Then it wasn't you. I'm glad. Yeah, thanks. Could have been. Oh, Could have been you. That's, yeah. The first thing I thought it was like, oh no, right, I would have right. threw up. Yeah. I was like, running downstairs. Right. Get so it. crazy. Uh, right as I heard it, I was like standing near the bar. And I was like, okay, away from windows. And uh, there is a giant four foot cement pillar next to me. I'm going to stand Perfect. behind that. Yep. That mm-hmm. sounds great. And then uh, waited a couple minutes, waited for the uh, takeout guy to come back. I was like, hey, so I'll just get my food and go. And then he offered me my extra free food. And we got upstairs and... And eight. Get real every, shooty out here. Oh, do we? I upstairs. made him sleep in the bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. A hundred percent. Yeah, oh. I was like, hey, dude, <laughs> scooch it on over here tonight. <laughs> he's the ninja black belt assassin on the low, so he's like security. True. He disarmed him. He doesn't want to say it, but right. he disarmed them. Yeah, he's they actually humble. travel. He uses a front so he can be Batman. Right. As his dad goes and makes people laugh, he's very fighting unassuming. crime. Where's Rachel? That make me, <laughs> where's Rachel? Oh. <laughs> Would that make me Robin? No, no, no. You're oh. unassuming oh, Alfred. No, no, oh. you're, no, no, no. You have no, no idea why no. you're doing your hour and a half. He's out there busting them gangs. He no, comes hey, back to do the Q and A. You're not wedding. You're not Robin. You're, not Robin. Sean and Alan. Okay. you're Alfred. <laughs> As I say, you're unassuming Alfred because you're running the show, but you but don't do know. But do I know what's happening? Nope. Great. I said I'm you're great unassuming. at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna do my hour while you go save the planet. Yeah, dude. This would be amazing. There is the like, show. The undercover. Like I'm gonna go be an assassin while he's on stage. Come back and do Q and A. That'd be awesome. That'd be an awesome show. I'd watch the shit out of it. Like Dexter. Every week he's telling jokes like Seinfeld. And every week he's killing like Dexter. What do you think Mesh, would be right? your best? Like, if you were an undercover dude, what's your best asset? Your accents? Definitely not. Not. For either of us. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I'm speaking for the both of us. Yeah, I would say one. no drawing on yours. Not the drawing aspect. <laughs> same, with, same with me. I'm going to tell you, no, definitely, <laughs> def, definitely not for me. I definitely got his talent with that. <laughs> I'm bad at it, dude. Um, oh, you remember me drawing. Yeah, I, I think I have one. Yeah. <laughs> There used to be a gallery of all Josh's art. They all look like goldfish <laughs> attached to people from the goldfish crackers. Like, that yeah, is he, Brad Pitt. He needs to have a gallery of them and then have all of them burned, please. No, no, no. And they take a picture with that celebrity, like, dead on. Dead on. Kind of, if you squint a little bit. Squint a little bit, step back 40 feet. Like, damn, bro, you fucking crushed that. It kind of looks like Barbra Streisand, I guess. I can't draw, so I'm just happy to see people draw. I did, did, suck we, at it. did we do it? We must have done a little bit of it if you came on the show oh, yeah. forever ago, dude. When we did that yeah, high rise spot, yeah, yeah, we did a high oh, rise spot, yeah, yep, next to the pool, yeah, yeah. dude. That was uh, <laughs> that was a long time ago, yeah, it was, yeah. And was that during mm-hmm. pandemic, what? yeah, what? yeah, basically, during? yeah, almost everything was, yeah, it was in yeah. the backyard, huh? yeah, in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, I was rocking a mask half the time with the camera and shit. Yep. Yeah. That whole stretch. God um, damn. Before we get you out of here. That is you, crazy, dude. Bring your son to work tour? Yes. Or bring your kids to work tour, sorry. Oh, bring hey. your kid to work tour. 
anything where you have to sound smart, you you should do yeah, it. Boom. <laughs> Bring your kid to work tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's you guys' next? We got it right cities. up here. I know, but like, just so, just in case we can say them all, people are in the car listening, not watching the screen. What's the next couple cities? Uh, well, this weekend we are in Buffalo, New York. Fuck uh, yeah. Uh, for Thursday, Luxury. Friday, and Saturday. A beautiful experience. Um, uh, the, I can't. I'm really excited for <laughs> Buffalo, New York. It is one of my York favorite clubs. February. It's one of my favorite great. clubs in and the then Florida? country. Florida? Yeah, the we're, in there? We're, in, we're in Dania Beach, Florida, the very for Valentine's Day night and the whole weekend. We're there. Oh, listen up. Go to a comedy show on Valentine's. We're That's there a perfect way, day. By the way, we're there perfect Wednesday, perfect Wednesday day. through Saturday. Wednesday through Saturday yeah, in Florida? In Dania Beach, Florida. Have you never been to the club, the Helium in Buffalo? Oh, no, I have. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. All right. It's just the wrong time of year. Oh, yeah, dude. But <laughs> you know what? It's going to be. What what'd you what, say it was? What, 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 <laughs> what did I say? Well, I was talking to your mom about it. I think what? it's going to be that like... Was a whole different thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. What wow. just happened? You went back and you went to different coverage. I was talking to your mom. <laughs> it's not going to be that I'm cold. I'm following you. Yeah. It's not going to be that cold. Okay, well, let's hope not. I could have yeah, just said that. What an easy for you. I could have just said that. It's uh, not going to be that cold. Are we, All right. I, like, I don't think it's going to be... You're not going to get Buffalo trapped in the cold. airport yeah. and trapped on the freeway in your car type shit. No, I think the weather's going to be worse in Vegas. Okay. I hope so. Holy shit, dude. Take it easy. Why are you so aggressive? It's supposed to start snowing the day after we leave. So wow. we'll be good. Then you come back to California? Uh... <laughs> No, uh, tour, man. Yeah, yeah, after after Dania, what? I actually don't think California is Dude, happening. I, love to, I just love doing that to people every now and then. It's so fun. Me conversing, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> no, the yeah. best thing is when you're talking. OG, remember you did that too? I, you guys, all of you seen it. My friend OG is a fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, I swear to God, we're in person. He's talking to me, telling me a story. And mid sentence, he goes, What? <laughs> you're like, What the fuck? You're telling me this fucking story, bro. How loud the world your brain said, Huh? So that's what that felt like. That is hilarious. <laughs> you guys should tell us what date you do. He, he, Where? <laughs> California is a state. He, it. he it does is. it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually oh, no, don't. I, I actually it's don't funny. think. I don't think those two dates are happening. Oh, Sac um, California, Sac uh, Frisco, Sacramento, San Francisco. Not happening. Not, not happening. No, okay. I think we're going to reschedule them. But after that, we're in Huntsville, Alabama, um, for uh, the last weekend in February for a leap year day, which will be kind of fun. I think. Nice. Hey, say it again. Leap year day. Oh yeah, but you went leap year. <laughs> I didn't know if that's just how people said it. I don't know. Well, you gotta say it like you're leaving, you know? Like, oh, true, true. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He's putting emphasis into yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. He's working on his craft. Yeah, come on, man. It's inflection. Oh, my God. You got scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we are, but we are everywhere. We are everywhere until until what Memorial Day. Until Memorial Day, we're on the road every Finishing weekend. Finishing up in San Diego, June sixteenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We, <laughs> <laughs> Who? San Diego, June sixteenth. Oh, yeah, nice. We are on the road every weekend until that June Wait. date in San Diego. Let's go. What? Is this the end of the podcast? <laughs> 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 we talked about it hey, before you guys get let's talk about your tour yeah th that, that's when you said anything smart anything I smart am, <laughs> which makes sense now for anybody who's paying attention <laughs> okay. or listening or listening you ever been to Josh's show he gets him there make sure he pulls up and places him <laughs> I do I will say I drive the car and pack the things hey but the podcast we do together is amazing dude hey man it really is it's pretty Pretty, it's my favorite hour of the week that we do. Looks Literally. great. Sounds when good. When do you drop? You guys got everything dialed. When do episodes drop? What Every days? Thursday? Huh? Why Thursday for the... Because that's when the episodes what drop? What was the question? When do the podcast, podcast episodes drop? drop? What's up? <laughs> uh, every they, Thursday? Every Thursday, yeah. Like on, on all platforms, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sick. Yes. And then the tour, you can go get tickets at Joshua... Comedian, Com Comedian Josh Wolf. Comedian Josh There you go. Yep. Comedian Josh Wolf .com for all tickets for every all for uh, all dates future dates. And anything and everything is on that website. When's the special coming out, dude? I don't know. I have to see the first edit. My instinct is to leave the part in with a lady. <laughs> with a lady, or just use the other show. 
Oh, uh, no. Is it going to come before summer, you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. See, I, I wasn't sure like how long a production uh, takes like that. I, 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 mm. When is it right now? <laughs> <laughs> when is it? It's February. Early. It's Early like, February. Yeah, it's not... It's yeah, like it's February. Summer's a reservoir. Fifth. Yeah, fifth. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Definitely before. Oh. Ah, here's the thing. I've never been on the. The one that everybody liked. I was working with a, a, a company, a guy that I trusted a lot. I think I'll probably be. I don't know if I'll be more involved this time. I think I will be. Oh, with the editing process and the final cuts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just with opinions. God. Oh, so you uh, let someone direct want, it up. I want to see more options, I think. Not because I don't trust this person as much. I, as, a, as an artist, and I'm not saying that they're, they're right or wrong. I just want to see everything. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's how you, you do the best five possible things. product. Yeah. The same exact video, which is five different versions yeah. of it. So, yeah. so this might take longer than the, and it, it's not. I don't. I won't mean it in an insulting way. I'm just a different dude now. I just want to see more yeah, shit. Of course, because yeah. why waste all that goddamn footage? It, it's not just that. Like, I don't know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let me just see what it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's 100%. more my Marty gives me five thumbnail options every video. I don't know what all this direction is different. I even think of this direction. Good yeah. for you. Thank you. Fuck you. Yeah. I don't know what I, I don't know enough to know what I'm missing. Mm. Yeah. I feel let the me, same. That's let me cool. just see it. Yeah. And a lot of guys shoot fucking four or five different shows. So you got two good options. I mean, that's a nice, simple, clean. And, and I think that I'm not, I don't mean it to sound like this dude is not going to, he's, it's going to be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super chill dude. And we had a great time shooting with him. Yeah, absolutely. He had, a really, he had a good team. Great team. Came so I'm not saying he's not going to. This him. is why I'm very yeah. excited to do this. Because he. He, he came like, super prepared. It was like. King ready the whole team. Yeah. There was like. What? You had like four cameras. Two stills. He crushed it. He yeah, showed it me what he had done. I'm too high to remember. <laughs> Can I make sure. Can I make sure that. I can get you his name. Yeah, for sure. We yeah, we'll pop it up. On, we'll pop yeah. it up. Like right, 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 right here is great. Yeah, right here is great. Yeah. Right over right. your face. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's over Perfect. your his LinkedIn. Bro's name. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. Bro's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, guys, you've been here for three hours. What? Yeah. Flew by. Yeah. Didn't feel like I want to say I loved the little blue meanie ones. Love that. I could do that and go to meetings. Yeah, see, I could do a yeah. bunch. I feel awesome. alert. It's, I feel up. Mm -hmm. I love I it. I wonder if there's a way just to get them to ship them. Um, we don't do illegal things like that. We will. <laughs> we don't do stuff like that, though. But yeah. not to my address. They're going to be handed to me, so I'm not breaking any laws. I don't know how they got here. Maybe they maybe they walked them here. Maybe the gremlin brought them. Maybe the gremlin brought them. That's what is on the inside of the coat. Mm -hmm. By the way, one of my favorite movies. Of all. Such a good. He's just scared shit when I was a kid. Dude, did it? I was like three watching it. So I was like, oh my God, they just threw that lady out of a window. She's dead now. I was so fucking... Could not focus more on the bad guy. They were the coolest. Spike, right? Yeah. He's the coolest ones, dude. What so scared weird. me was Critters. You know, there's eight people. I watched that show. Was kind what, of, what was the first movie that scared you? Chucky. Yeah. Freddy. I liked Freddy. He didn't scare me. Know. You don't get scared by him? No, I just preferably and, and like purposely did not see scary movies. Dude, for me, it was any kind of demonic. Oh, so the Poltergeist? You didn't like, Exorcist. You didn't like Exorcist? Conjuring. Conjuring, you never seen. <laughs> Poltergeist, I had to sleep my mom's. Uh, you, you never saw and Conjuring? My no. Conjuring is fucking Dude. I don't watch scary things now that I can. I have a choice. Yeah, yeah, me too. Nope. Me too. Anything with the. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm good. With the devil, I'm. Mm -mm. 
I liked it. Constantine. That wasn't scary. That was a badass movie. Wait, which one? Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah, dude. That was a good Super one, dude. Super good. It's a little creepy, but like, oh, my God, this is sick. Can I just say, Loki, who? Not a lot of people had a better career than this dude. No, he's crushed it. And Major also, Six he, and the John Wicks and the Bill and Ted's. That's a lot of trilogies, man. And everybody's just like, what a good dude. People, yeah, he seems you, cool. You, you, you love him. You never hear a bad. Uh, it always seems cool. I think he's Neo and he was like, in Hollywood, I, I mastered the code and I'm just going to stay by myself. I think Get away I from me. saw yeah. something, some crazy quote about him. Just, and I, I don't, you're going to remember. No, that I don't remember the quote. Mm-hmm. Let but, me quote this man. <laughs> I don't remember what he said. But basically, what he was saying is. You can't get to me. Like, oh, no, no, no. Be as mad as you want about whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. Don't care enough. Yeah, dude. I'm just not going to get into it with you. Mm -hmm. But he said it in such a fucking eloquent way. Yeah. I'm not going to cat Williams. Johnny Johnny Utah. (laughs) What's that? I'm not going to cat Williams you at the end of the day. But just wreck you, (laughs) which we talked about recently. (laughs) You wrecked some people. But it's okay. People get mad. They do their thing. Keanu Reeves doesn't wreck people. Yeah. And that's why everybody loves him. I think everybody likes him, right? <laughs> everybody Ever likes since Point Break. Everybody likes Keanu I Reeves. love him. He's the coolest. Yeah, you got to acknowledge that. Never heard a creepy, scummy thing about him. Huh? About him? Yeah. I don't think so. Zero things. He's just cool. Hey, come on, man. You can't be Bill and Ted and then be uh, Fool from Dracula mm-hmm. and then... But he's still Bill and Ted. Like, dude, your acting skills are wild. Like, I know. Like, yo, you're <laughs> sick. That and that's good. it. It's over. Wait, that's a pretty good impression. Yeah, that was. Yeah, you just talk like you're kind of high, but you're kind of like you have confidence. Yeah. Like, oh, calories. <laughs> that's him. That's crazy. And Neo, he only does one-liners. Yeah. He is the eloquent, eloquent, eloquent. Jesus Christ. He's the elegant, uh, one liner superstar you don't think is an action hero, but he is. Oh fuck yeah, he is. He's yeah. Neo. He just says a couple words sometimes, and he's John Wick, and he goes no, and he shoots fools up. Bet you you could Google how many words he says. Never considered that. He doesn't say in a, a lot. John Wick. I wonder. Very few. Like I wonder because That's a I mean, point. especially That's a after point. like the. 10 minute mark. I was just shooting and breaking stuff. (laughs) (laughs) My dog. (laughs) And then we just rush and screaming for like two hours. Every time I watch John Wick, go, Nikita, my cameraman straight from Russia. So I always ask him, like, you know, you guys are the new Middle Easterns in our movies. It used to be like that. That was the bad guy. Now it's all Russians. And every movie, it's scary Russian mafia guys now. I'm like, what are you guys doing over there? Like, why are you guys the scariest people on earth? He's literally trained. from Russia, straight from Russia. Mm-hmm. And his mom, I won't say it at all, but she's a very high appointed lady over there. So he knows all this government history and he's very educated. So every time we talk, I teach him not to do stupid shit in America because he thought cops weren't shit here. I'm like, they'll shoot you. They don't shoot. He didn't think he could shot here. Oh, in Russia, you, you punk definitely. cops, apparently. You pay mm-hmm. them or you punk them. Did what? not know that. He's like, they ain't shit. They're little bitches. They. They're cops. It's like they couldn't do anything else. I'm like, what? That's how you choose. Like, over here, they they mean shit? No, they'll just shoot you. I'm like, he didn't get that they will shoot you here. Oh, yeah, he yeah, doesn't get it. He didn't get it. So I'm teaching him that. He teaches me Russian shit every day, every time you film. I learned a little more history of Russia, and he knows a little more horrible shit about here. I love that. But anyway, John Wick, back to Keanu Reeves. Let's, Let's wrap go. it up. <laughs> All right. Um, so. Bring your kid to work tour. Yep, hey, yeah. man, every Thursday. Yep. Comedian Josh Wolf for all tickets. And it's Valentine's Day in, ja- in Florida. What was the place? Dania Beach. Florida. Dania Beach. Valentine's Day. Go watch the show. Let's go. And, oh, when does this come out? Monday. Monday. Oh, we already did that's Buffalo. Din- that's, yeah, that's Dania Beach. We will be in Buffalo this weekend, yes. Yeah, so it just, it By just the way, I had a great time in Buffalo. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, 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 a couple yeah. more. What's, what's a couple more? Uh, June feels really nice. Go. We'll keep going. You think my brain's working right no, now? I'm kidding. Oh, I just said June's really nice. I, was, I only had one in me, dude. You thought I was serious about you feeding me one 
We're gonna turn you to Keanu Reeves right now, okay? Hilarious. There's one. That's one line right there. <laughs> That's the script. Hilarious. I bet you though, his John Wicks. Like if you, I wonder what those scripts look like. I was considering that when you were saying it. Shooty parts, shooty parts. No, shooty parts. Yeah. Russia. Bang, bang. Russia. Bang, Russia. Bang. Russia. Dog barks, dog barks. But, Dog's dead. But like, uh, I wonder how much he gets paid per minute. Why well, I just get paid how much per word? The actual, actual script. It's <laughs> fourteen pages. Yeah, with and a lot of like <laughs> walks in room. Murders. Yeah, that's all Murders. <laughs> They're the coolest movies ever, bro. Oh, if dear. you haven't seen John Wick yet, right? Yeah. Oh, the coolest action movie ever. We're gonna they watch, really we're crushed, gonna watch dude. Tonight. You never really said. You never seen any of them? Oh no, I've. Oh okay, they're fucking wild. It's literally just like well, if a kid I, wrote I've a only movie seen like the first one. shoot, shoot. It's that. I've only seen. I've that's never fine. Seen. Let's watch the second one. I've only seen the first one, dude. There's the four of them. Dude, I'm so. I'm. It's crazy. <laughs> It's insane that they yeah. just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Russians dying in these movies. It's crazy. <laughs> it's all it is. It's just a genocide. Poor John Wick. Right. It's pretty crazy. Nuts. But let's get out of here. Mar I know when it's when it's done. When Marty's just start ripping double pens <laughs> because he knows there's no more weed right here left. <laughs> Guys, it's been over three hours. Thank you. For oh, there you go. I have one left. Sick. Well, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Held together more than any other Let's shroom go. podcast yeah, you really, ever. You really did great. Jake, thank right. you very much. You, you can reach. You, 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 you can reach. I was leaving. Like, no, show. I got you. Yeah, I got thank you. you. You good? I'm good, good man. Show, I sir. feel like Fuck I want that. to apologize. I feel like you lost me for about 20 minutes, but. No, you didn't do it. We dude, lost you for 98% of the other episodes, so this is <laughs> oh, 90%. Perfect. You were present. Dude, you did great. You did great. You did great. Really good. Even with the you on a boat part. My favorite I part. really want to see what kind of boat it was, but I'm gonna that, Photoshop something it. up for that moment. Just on my head. Yeah, that, there was that, I, that was the only moment, but everything else you seemed great. Like, you and great. that wasn't even bad. No, it really wasn't. We're all maturing, is what we're trying to get at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Canadian mushrooms are fucking fun. Whoa, yeah. Vancouver, you're crushing it as the first as first international drug I've ever taken. <laughs> uh, that I know of. Yeah. I'm sure we I'm all sure we have. all yeah. snorting a bunch of <laughs> Colombian products. All right. Marty, Jay, Josh, thank you guys, we appreciate thank you guys for being here. Through. Guys, this has been the Dope as Usual podcast. If you're still here, you're probably on drugs too, and you're probably lost in the garage. Thank you so much for being here. I have more for you. Don't worry. I have a bunch more weed. Oh, my God. Guys, thank you so much. This has been the Dope as Usual podcast. Have a dope ass day. Nice. Yeah. That did not feel like three hours. I'll get you a bunch of more. That, that did not seem like three hours. Good shit, guys. Oh. How? Oh. That was a crisp oh, mushroom episode. <laughs>